Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new show here on Saving Throw called The Garden of Good and Evil, a Change in the Lost second edition game that we are thrilled to present. I'm your storyteller for the evening, Stephen Pope, and I am just over the moon to do this one. <laughs> I've wanted to run this system on this channel since I started. So this is a dream come true. I'm not gonna gush too long. We do have a couple announcements before we get to it, but before then, let's, Jemethis, thank you <laughs> for the tip. Thank y'all. Let's meet our wonderful players for the evening, and why don't you also introduce your character while you're at it? We'll start with, uh, okay. Mr. Holmes. <laughs> uh, how much detail do you want me to give? However much you want. Well, I'm a Capricorn. Uh, <laughs> sorry, no, I'm Michael Holmes. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the character known as Billy Ruin. Uh, if you're familiar with the setting at all, I will just tell you that his seeming is the ogre. Mm. And more about Billy will be revealed as the evening goes on. But I'm very excited to be here. I know that this is a game very close to Steven's heart, and this is a really great group to play with. So, yes. to my left, we have... <laughs> uh, I am Kate Friedlander, and I am playing September Sharp, the Darkling Antiquarian. Ooh. Anything else? Um... <laughs> I, I don't I don't know I have like oh oh I guess I don't should we say what we look like uh, if you want that doesn't really describe a whole lot yeah um I am a paper girl I am all paper all the way down covered in writing if you were to start pulling off sheets of paper there's just more paper underneath uh, Billy is uh, kind of tall and gaunt his limbs kind of feel impossibly long he's got a, a jaw that seems to move of its own volition from time to time and he wears uh, a leather jacket that might or may not be made out of former victims mm. as you do yeah. leather body yeah leather face <laughs> um hi i'm tracy king and uh i'm playing libra um my seeming is a beast and she um it's a bit of a mystery a bit of a mystery <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's all I can tell you right now. Okay. Sexy. <laughs> and last but not least, hi, I'm Eric. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing Musip uh, Anderson Gladstone. That's uh, it's a hyphenate. You have to say it's, you have to say both. Uh, and uh, he is a a fairest uh, mirror skin uh, in the literal sense. He is a sentient mirror, but he wants he he wants to be more than just a mirror. <laughs> He wants to be a real boy. He real wants boy. more. I'm a real boy. I can show you the world. Shining, <laughs> shimmering, splendid. Oof. If he doesn't eat you first. <laughs> so, you eat good. glass? No. He could. Mm. Agent XK has given the re-roll. Thank you for resubbing, and they have given the re-roll to Eric. All yeah. right. Yay. Thank you, Agent. Yeah. And while we're on it, uh, Dixie Cyanide and the Onyx Path. Thank you both so much for the bits. Yes. Yay. Hi, like Onyx Path. Woo. <laughs> Dixie Cyanide is a great name. That is an awesome yeah, name. Yeah, I like that. So. We at Saving Throw are a completely independent operation. We do not have any corporate overlords. We are gladly accepting offers though, so don't be afraid to hit us up. <laughs> but we run entirely on tips. It keeps the lights on, it keeps Dom off the streets. So if we do something that makes you laugh, makes you cry, gives you the feels, uh, feel free to drop a tip. It's super appreciated. Like Emperor Riptide, thank you Yay! so Emperor much. Emperor Riptide. It means the world to us. And also, you do get something out of it. We have set up a uh, tip tiers. When those are unlocked, new wild weird shit happens in story. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's always amusing for me. <laughs> That's the proper response. <laughs> it is. It, it is definitely the proper response. You're just still mad that I made an entire monster out of dead puppies. Oh. I, I mean, oh, I yeah. <laughs> It was it was upsetting. The it last time horror. I was in one of your games, it was we got real here. It's a, a horror. Monster. I run horror games. What do you want? If you were running a true horror game, it should have been made out of orphans. <laughs> well, he's, not, like he's got a, he's got to play to his audience though. Okay, it was a bunch of does. animal lovers. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, hi Nightsteed. Nightsteed, thank you, you very much to join the team. conversation. Hey, yep. Yes. So. Uh, we haven't even gotten to our first story beat yet, and we've already unlocked the first tier. We will address that very soon, but I really want to get on with the story, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I am so excited for this. Let's play. Okay. 
The universe is wider than our views of it. A smarter man than I said that once upon a time. And people tend to assume that means the world is just beautiful things out there, and there's a lot of different ways to look at it, but they never understand that there's stuff you're not supposed to see. Humans were never supposed to experience certain things. We used to tell stories around campfires about the fae, the fairies, the eldritch abominations in the woods, and how we have to appease them in order to not become their victims. We've lost those stories. Probably for the best, all to consider, I'll be honest. But for some people, it just doesn't work out that way. Some people find themselves taken, spirited away to the world of the Fae, the world of Arcadia, a dark and twisted place that doesn't make sense. Our story begins with four people who were just taken out of this world and put into another, trying to escape. And I need all of you to roll me uh, Dexterity and athletics, <laughs> as you are being chased through the hedge. Dexterity. Yes. So how many dots of dexterity do you have? Um, two. And, and what was athletics? the other? Oh. And we combine <laughs> those two numbers. Yes, you combine those, and that's how many d10s you will roll. Okay. And you oh. are looking for eight, nines, and tens, and tens you get to re-roll. Great. Nice. They explode, if you sure. will. Yes, they do. Three successes. Three successes. I, too, got three successes. Eight. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Two successes. Very good. Just two. eights and nines and tens? Yes. Oh, I got two successes then. Very good. Cool. The four of you are running for your life. Well, lives. You hear dogs barking and the screams of a huntsman behind you. If they catch you, you will die. You will be taken back to Arcadia and there will be no hope for you. As the four of you run, you see this path in front of you. The hedge is the world between worlds. It is where things go to get lost, much like you four. What do you do? Well, I keep, I keep running towards the hedge, full on, as fast as I can, um, without even looking at these three, because I just don't want to be caught. I'm going for my freedom. All right. Where are you going? Billy stops in his tracks. You keep running, I'll catch up! Oh. Go! Okay, I, I book it down the path. I'm gonna grab your hand, though. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he has a hand? Do, oh, do you, do you yeah. have hands? He has hands. Yes. I, I'm, I'm humanoid-shaped So you're running like this? Yeah. I, okay. If you've ever seen uh, Young Sherlock Holmes, I'm kind of like the the uh, the, uh, the stained glass knight. Uh, knight. I kind of resemble that right now. And if you haven't seen Young Sherlock Holmes, you should. I will. One of the first Definitely. successful uses of 3D in a feature film. Yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Well, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna grab your hand and go. Well, I guess we're running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As the three of you book it, Billy, mm. you see the hedge beast running after you. They're about the size of large German shepherds, and they are made entirely out of brambles. And there's about three of them. Well, not about three. There are three of them. What do you do? Okay. I am going to plant my feet, kind of kick up the dirt with my right heel, and I'm gonna let out a guttural scream that goes all the way from my butt to my throat. <laughs> <laughs> and echoes through the hedges, and um, I'm going to invoke Might of the Terrible Brute. Hell yeah. Which wow. costs me two glamour. Mm -hmm. um, and what that does is, after letting out a terrifying roar of fury and defiance, calling on the prowess that once served his keeper and now serves only himself, um, I basically double in size, and I'm ready to try and take at least one of these on. Okay. Uh, do you have to make a roll for that one? Or? Uh, n the invocation is reflexive. Great. Um, but if if you come to fight me, then we roll, <laughs> and we have opposed rolls. Fair enough. By the way, some red shirt. Thank you very much for your uh, oh, tip. Thank you. And also, dude, just one less penny. You could have had the metal one. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, oh. six, six, six. six, 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 metal. All right, one of these he hedge hounds just dives at you, teeth 
just rotating, almost like some sort of weird chainsaw shark creature. Okay. And it's going to try to bite you. What is your defense? Uh, my defense, sorry, is four. All right. So it only gets to roll two dice. Okay. And it fails. Okay. So what do you do? Uh, well, I'm going to make a contested uh, grapple roll okay. against you. And if I succeed, then thanks. Dixie, Dixie Cyanide, Cyanide, thank you for the sub. Then uh, bad things happen to you. <laughs> well, let's see what you do. Okay, so is that brawl? Is this that... will be a strength and brawl. Roll. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of dice. I'm going to say this is fight dirty as well. Um, I'll allow it. Okay, so I'm rolling with nine dice total. Nice. Fantastic. No. Eight. Only eight. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, well, that's not impressive at all, right? In that case, take away all the praise. Yeah, okay, oh, so oh. let's see. Ooh. There's th three successes. Three zeros in there. <laughs> three more four. successes. Uh, four successes total. Four. Or five. Five successes total. That was total. five. Yeah. So that's an exceptional success, meaning uh, not only do you have him grappled, you have seriously just... You've dug your fingers into this thing and have done too lethal to it. Oh, it is bleeding starting out. Starting to try to this... pull its jaws apart. Yeah, it is King Kong up yeah. in here. Uh, <laughs> and I get uh, one point of strength from it. Oh, you do? Yes, I do. Hell yeah. Yeah. So you have this thing, you got it by the jaws, you are pulling it apart. You tell her. You tell her I'm never coming back. You got it? Well, it's a dog. You can't really talk. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. You know, it's I respect it. passion of the moment. <laughs> Did I thank DJ Regular? Thank no, you again, no, DJ, DJ Regular. DJ Regular. Hey. Oh, hey. Willkommen, bienvenue. Dixie Cyanide has given their reroll to Libra. Oh, thank you, Dixie Cyanide. <laughs> My new favorite name. Can I steal it? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's me now. That's me now. <laughs> I, I am Dixie Cyanide. <laughs> that's just weird. <laughs> um, you hear the barking of the other hedge beast, and you also hear the cries of the huntsmen. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I want to throw the hedge beast back at its companion, kind of as a warning and also maybe as some sort of distraction, because I have to imagine that they're probably a little cannibalistic. Yeah, that's safe to assume. Yeah. Go ahead and give me another strength and brawl roll. Okay. <laughs> I think now it's nine dice. Uh, it is, as a matter of fact, nine dice. Finally impressive. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's see, there's one, two, three... Four, five, and I get to re-roll these. Six. Six successes. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, you go bowling with this dog, and it crashes into the other <sighs> two. They let out this pitiful yelp, and as soon as they realize what you've done, they just kind of turn on their their other dog friend and just start biting at him. Cool. It's pretty violent. Yeah. And it gives you a clear open for escape. And I take advantage after growling one more time. <gasps> so what are the three of you doing? Um, can, so we're, we're currently in Arcadia, but we've just entered into the, the You hedge. are in the hedge, yes. What do I know, what do, what do we know about the hedge? Well, why don't you give me a occult intelligence roll? Okay. Oh, if only you had a million that. dots in this. Oh, boy. Uh, you two are also, you can make this roll as well if you'd like. Okay. Can um, I? What are we doing? Uh, She's doing um, Intelligence Occult. Ah. Oh. Does my antiquarian. No, it does not. Okay. Well, that's seven dice. Still impressive. Um, one, right? Because it's eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten? Yeah, one success. Oh, wait, no. Yes. I also have one success. Okay. A success is still a success. Yeah. Uh, Shit, that's pretty good. Uh, two successes. I, I see Wait, what are we allowed to re-roll, you said? Uh, you re-roll tens. We can re-roll all. Oh, okay. Yeah, they explode. Yes. Right, so they count as a success, uh, and, then, and then you get to roll <coughs> again. And they get a bonus. Yes. Potentially mm -hmm. forever. Yes. So, all three of you are aware of what the hedge is. You know it is the kind of buffer layer between the real world and Arcadia. Mm -hmm. It is made of brambles and it is a weird reflection of both worlds. It's not exactly either. It's filled with things that aren't exactly friendly, but you know what? It's better than where you were. 
They're not true fae. They are, they are not true fae in here. Good. Um... You hear the roars of your friend from behind you. It's, you also hear dogs barking and all sorts of madness. Libra, are you, are you still just booking it? No, yeah. unfortunately, I am not. <laughs> You're not? No. What are you doing? I'm stopping. Mm. And I look at you and it's like, I just know we're going to start running back. See, here's the thing. Um, if we go back there, we're all gonna die. But um, I gesture between uh, <laughs> myself and Musa. Um, we might just die anyway. Yeah. Which I mean, you know, worse things have happened to me personally very recently. Yeah. Um, but I would kind of like, I kind of don't wanna leave Billy behind. Billy's pleasant. Yeah, he's, you know, he's very helpful in the, you know, not dying thing. Can you fight? Yeah, but I can't leave him behind. I can't. Well, boy, all right, well, um, so we're like down a path. Uh, there seems to be a path making itself as you, the three of you are running. Can we still see Billy? Uh, you cannot. Let's see him. Okay, well, I... Start running back. All right. Before you do, though, mm -hmm. we have unlocked the first tip tier of the evening. Okay. Now, I have here a D4. You don't use D4s in any Chronicles of Darkness game. However, this is going to determine who gets to draw from the bag <coughs> of many things. It's like the deck of many things, but much stupider. <laughs> Stupid. It's filled with tokens, allies, and hedge beasts that can help you guys on your way. Or sometimes they're just kind of useless, but should be fun. I hope it's Burgermeister. Oh, yeah. Lord. No burger sorry. monsters. <laughs> I'm and, sorry. Well, we rolled a two, so you, Tracy, oh. get to draw. Yay. Yeah. Get something good where you're out of the game. We're so. entertaining at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I grabbed two. They're folded together. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I got. Crinkle Woof. Hedge Beast. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and read the description. Oh, crap. Physicals 3, Mental 1, Socials 2. Resembles a Pomeranian made out of tin foil and is just as smart. Oh. <laughs> as you are running back towards the thing, you hear a small and almost pathetic yip compared to the sounds of the briar wolves chasing after you before. Okay. And nipping at your heels is this little Pomeranian thing that looks like it's made out of tinfoil. Okay, well, I am a gigantic snow leopard. <laughs> so I am just going to step on it as I run. <laughs> just, bink! <laughs> as you step on it, it flattens like a cartoon character, mm -hmm. and you two see it kind of jiggle a little bit, and then back up to full. Well, shit. <laughs> That's strange. It is, it looks very confused and a little dazed. Is it, was well, nipping at my heels, was it friendly? It's friendly. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 uh, well, I, do I sense that it's friendly? <laughs> I mean, you kind of <laughs> squished it and now it's just kind of bopping after you. So. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'll let him, I'll, I'll name him what what do you what do you guys think? What should I name my my tinfoil pomeranian? Pancake is a pretty good name. Mm -hmm. What is it? I said pancake what is pretty good. Name? Pancake. <laughs> okay, I'll keep. Can I keep pancake? You can keep pancake. Okay, I'm gonna keep. Crinkle, wolf, is a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa. All right. So what are you two doing? Um. We can't. See See, Billy, does the path look like it's shifted behind us? Uh, it does not. Does not. Um. I think I'm probably at a much slower pace going to start heading back. And I'm, I'm flipping through my mental Rolodex of, like, what I know about hedge beasts and huntsmen. 
You do have, you are an antiquarian and you do have a knack for that, if I recall. Yeah, I do. What do I roll? Uh, it, what is does it say there? My blessing? That is Wait, your, yeah. I know I have a thing about. It's your kith blessing. Yeah, oh yeah, this, sorry, all my stuff is everywhere. Um, antiquarian knack, or no, blessing, okay. Uh, academics, intelligence, to know something. Yeah, so my blessing is that I can spend a point of glamour to roll academics plus intelligence to know something obscure, gross, or spooky about a subject, even if I've never encountered it before. This includes all supernatural beings. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to spend a glamour point. Bondo, oh. thank you. <laughs> And um, yeah, academics and intelligence. Yes, that's a good roll for me. I think that's another seven die. I uh, I believe you have a specialty in Eldric in academics. Uh, that's a cult. My okay. academics is literature. Fair enough. Um, one success. Okay. Uh, you are aware that uh, hedge beasts, especially uh, briar wolves in this case, are prone to self-cannibalism and cannibalism in general. Yeesh. They will eat themselves. Like Pizza the Hut? Mm. Just like Pizza the Hut. Cool. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Well, I've got, I've got an, an idea now. Are you, are you still with me or are you? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're, we're heading back towards, towards this fight. Okay. Right. Yeah. Now, Billy, are you running? Well, yeah, I'm running. <laughs> okay, give me another uh, athletics dexterity roll. Okay. Actually, make it a dex uh, an athletic stamina roll. Okay, that's actually better for me. Yes. Uh, let's see, that is one success. Okay, <clears throat> you are running without a problem, the wind in your face, and you hear them. The two wolves that were left are still on your heels, and that's when the whole earth begins to shake beneath you. What? Just as you see Libra coming up on the path, you feel this as well. Okay. The what are you doing? Run! No, I can't leave you. Oh, you're stupid. Well, you're stupid for freaking stopping in the first place. You could have ran with us. What are you doing? Running! And <gasps> I need both of you to make a dexterity survival roll. Musab, you're fine. You're just gonna be dragged around. Like. We're all stupid. <laughs> <laughs> two successes. All right. One, two, three, three successes. All right. As the earth begins to shake again, a large tree that you swear wasn't there before just comes crashing down almost on top of you, but both of you step out of the way in time to see it a 70 foot tall pink and green Claire's monstrosity with little tiny wings and a little blonde bob cut. It is a 70 foot tall pixie monster. Oh, Jesus. Lady Imago, thank you for the bits. Thank you. Uh, further down the path, uh, Musab and uh, September, you both see this thing. It is basically Tinkerbellzilla. <laughs> And this was tier two on the uh, tip launch, so thank you. Do you see the hedge beasts? Uh, yes. <laughs> Tasty cyanide, thank you. <laughs> Tasty cyanide. Uh, okay. You see it, but you see, you see the, you see the briar wolves, and they kind of stop, and they're just staring up at uh, Pixiezilla going, fuck me, I don't need this in my life, I'm a dog, I don't deserve this. And this thing is just roaring down oh. at your two companions. So, um, I want to do a little trivial reworking. Trivial reworking? What is that, if you don't mind? So, uh, trickery is the birthright of every lost, allowing her to shape an object's appearance to her desire. So, I can, um, use, I spend a point of glamour, um, and uh, the changeling recalls how her keeper molded items to fit his whims and mimics some of what he did, um, such as, like, you can change like a, a visible a visible f characteristic or um, basically it it uh, it just lets you change the way things appear. Um, okay. I would like to make I'd like to make the giant pixie monster specifically like the legs and feet of this thing 
look unbelievably delicious to the hedge beasts. So I'm talking about open wounds and brambles coming out of them. No, no, I'm following you. I'm just like, I was not expecting this. So, uh, <laughs> okay, what's the roll? Um, none. None. <laughs> I just spent a point of cleaver. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Okay. Unbelievably delicious. Okay. Uh, Billy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need you to make a, cl a clarity roll real quick. Okay. Yeah, just two dice. Nope. Oh, actually oh, yeah, one. Oof. I got one. Okay. Um, mark a bashing in one of your in your Lowe's clarity box. Okay. Because you see this thing, and all you think is, it's been a while since I had lunch. Oh no. Musa, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh. Let's see. I see a, a horribly terrifying uh, thing pop up from the ground. I go, huh. Uh, I, I want to use Paralyzing Presence. Uh, let's see. Uh, Changeling uh, is magnificent and horrible, uh, captivating his target uh, and rendering her unable to move. Uh, uh, must have her attention even if only fleeting uh, for this contract to take effect. Uh, basically, on a success, I grow larger, more beautiful and terrifying in the target's mind and overwhelm her, uh, and she suffers uh, uh, insensitive tilts, or? Uh, the what tilt? In in Incense. The incense. Incense tilt. Okay. And there's a thing in here for being a ferris. I don't understand yes. what this is. Uh, so contracts are universal for the most part, but there are certain things that only apply to certain seemings for contracts, and as you are a ferris, you get that benefit. Okay, so um, it says the unicorn's player gains three dice bonus to invoke this contract. So whatever your dice pool, your dice pool, add three. Okay, that's that's gonna be quite a bit too, I Good. think, for this. Oh uh, man, sorry. Let's see. I should have added my mantle to the investigation about the hedge beasts. That would have, yeah, you should have. Uh, it's fine. Presence, mm -hmm. plus weird. Plus composure. Uh, plus three. Oh wait, no, it's not a plus composure. Uh, it's it's either or composure or. Mm. It's presence intimidation and weird. Okay, intimidation would be another. I don't think I have intimidation on here. Intimidation, I do not. So then just plus these three. So. Okay, that's gonna be one, two, three. Four successes. Okay. It's like turn into a horrible, horrible, yet beautiful thing. You are that one scene in the first uh, Lord of the Rings movie. Collateral? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. As I just like get darker and I'm just like shaking and sort of rising in the air. And <laughs> um, as the bri as the briar wolves stare at these very delicious looking legs and you're staring <laughs> at them too like little Tabasco sauce. <laughs> uh, they're better raw. <sighs> um, you grow into a fucking terrifying uh, mirror mod. How, how do you look? Uh, I like to imagine like, like the plates or whatever I am like sort of shatter and become jagged, but then like sprout out. So I become like this weird, like jagged, like semi two dimensional, like monstrosity like like the spikes become like the shadows become like spikes and like teeth and like just like gnashing like just scary looking like uh mirrored uh glass monster that's great musa you look amazing <laughs> <laughs> okay so the the fairy zilla looks over at you and you can see the fear in its eyes and it turns very quickly into anger Mm -hmm. And on its damaged, messed up legs, it is coming after you. And I'm going to need all of us to roll initiative at this point, because okay. this feels a little combat-y. So roll 1d10, mm -hmm. and add your initiative modifier. Eight. Ooh. 20 for Fairyzilla. 13. All right. Five. Oh, no, six. <laughs> I, I, I grew into a monster. I'm like, uh, now what? <laughs> <laughs> you got seven? Eight. Eight. Six. Six. Eleven. Eleven. 
Okay, so the Fairyzilla is going to go first. Uh, I forgot to roll for the wolves. Yeah, they're going last. <laughs> cool. And she is going to try to kill the big spiky pointy thing that's scaring her. Mm -hmm. Now, what is your defense, good sir? Uh, my defense is four. Okay, that's good. Very good. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's very good. Eh, it's good for me. All right. <clears throat> How many is an exceptional success? Five. Okay. Okay, uh, you take one bashing as she just punches you. Does she take any damage just from hitting him? No. It's, like, logically, yes, but this is a hedge monster, so don't put too much into it. And that's to his health, correct? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Because yeah. you had me do bashing to my clarity, I wanted to clarify. You took clarity damage, because yes, right now you just kind of had a little bit of a Vietnam-style flashback towards... Uh, and where do I, being in Arcadia. Where, is that under conditions, or what do I... Uh, no, that would be uh, a health. slash in your health. Okay, so... Slash to health. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, how much damage did your attack do? And it, your last... Your contract does damage, correct? Uh, I don't think so. I think it just gives them the... They're just... Their mind is overwhelmed. Yeah, and I have that, too, and it is... It's more of just a status effect. Yeah. Okay. not actually do any damage. <clears throat> All right, uh, Billy Ruin, it is your turn. All right, um, uh, uh, what hedge beasts you said? There are, there are the two uh, Briar Wolves and Fairyzilla. Oh, there's the Briar Wolves. And then there's the Briar Wolves. <laughs> and his jaw starts to kind of unhinge a little bit, and his teeth are growing into needles, basically. Uh, speaking of which, really quickly, what does lethal mean do? Uh, lethal mean means you can do lethal damage due to something you like, just have. Like my teeth? Like your teeth okay. or your claws. Great. Mm -hmm. um, so he licks his chops and runs a kind of venom-like tongue over his needle-like teeth and decides he's going to go for one of the briar wolves. Okay. Because that thing's big. And that's just stupid, man. Fair enough. <laughs> go ahead and give me a strength and brawl roll. Okay. Uh, they have a defense of two, so... Okay. I don't think this is fighting dirty. This is this, this, this is a straightforward fair. fight. Yeah. Uh, what am I trying to beat? You are looking for eight nines and tens. That's it. Okay. Well, but I. Okay, so that's uh, two successes. Okay. You have managed to successfully grapple okay. them and uh, take a nice big juicy bite. Okay. For two lethal. Great. Because it's the it's the number of successes you get after the difficulty. Right. 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 Yeah, I wasn't intending to eat them, so never mind. It also wouldn't have mattered because I didn't get enough successes. But yeah, I just... <laughs> Fair enough. Tracy. Yes. Yes, what um, is Libra doing? I will go ahead and just um, do my lethal main, which is just her claws. Okay. So go ahead and make a... Uh, since you're attacking with just your fist, we'll make it a uh, strength and brawl roll. Hmm... Okay, strength. Oops. Okay, so that's six. Damn. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's a difficulty of two, so remove two oh. dice from it and give it a reroll. I apologize. That's on my. Oh, just reroll the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Oh crap. I'm sorry. No yeah. worries. <laughs> I've got one success. Okay. So, are you doing this to Fairyzilla or one of the wolves? Um, Fairyzilla. Okay. Fairyzilla takes one lethal as you just slash at her already pretty fucked up legs. Cool. Fuck that shit up. Mm -hmm. Fuck that up. Uh, she lets out a roar and you see the little pixie wings on the back of her kind of flitter a little. Oh, that's so precious. And behind you, you hear a little yapping noise. And uh, say, hey, pancake, chill the fuck out. <laughs> I don't want you to get squashed again. Some tells me he'll be fine. Okay, that leads us to September Sharp. Hello. Hi. Um, do I think that this pixie creature understands 
speech and, and language or... You have no idea. You can give a roll for that, but that will be your action for the turn. Fuck, I'm so useless in combat. Um, try it. Yeah, okay. You know what? Uh, I'm going to start spinning the tail of Baba Yaga. Ooh, the tail of Baba Yaga. Yeah. Okay. So. Is that a contested contract? It is. Um, it's manipulation, uh, it's my manipulation, subterfuge, and mantle versus, uh, pixie creatures, composure, and weird. That is not great for them. Seven for me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think I have, this is an intimidation roll, so I actually think I gain... Do you get to use your, uh, auto... Autumn mantle as well? I, yeah, I think I gained my I'll three it. again. Thank okay. you. So that's ten dice. This should be interesting. Oh, fuck, if I actually succeed anything. Okay, um, one, two, three. Three successes. Three successes. <laughs> how, do we, how do we resolve that? Well, um, what does the contract say? That's not it. Um, okay, so success. Uh, it's there's success, exceptional success, failure, and dramatic failure. I'm gonna say, uh, what does failure say? Failure just says contract fails. We're just gonna say the contract failed. So you, tell me how you're trying to spook this thing. <clears throat> so um, I'm standing there and I go, oh, I know where I've seen you before. I think my keeper had one like you. Strung up. In his library. Pulled apart. You have lots of little interesting bits inside. And she just screams over all of that. <laughs> just this bellowing, like, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I'm literally just having a recollection of what's happening. You're just standing there, going through your little uh, Pinterest board in your mind. <laughs> your kidneys have, like, a really interesting pattern when they've been pulled apart. Like, this is just for me at this point. Yes, this is for you. <laughs> All right, great. <laughs> and wonderful. Yes. Eric. Let's see. Musab, Ederson, Galip. Gladstone. Musip. Gladstone. Musip, Anderson, Gladstone. It's a high set. Musip, Anderson, Gladstone. You got to say the whole thing. It's like a yeah. tribe called Quest. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh... I, I too am also uh, fairly useless in combat. <laughs> hey, what's up? Very abusive. Yeah. <laughs> He's abusive oh. in combat. Abusive oh. in combat. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's our first shirt. The dad jokes. <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, punch with my glass hands, my big monster glass hands. Uh, because I saw him uh, do it and it and seems like a thing I okay. would do as a big scary monster. This thing has a defense of four, mm. so. What is your strength and brawl? Uh, that would be a total uh, yes. one. <laughs> so, this is going to be a what? chance die. Okay. You get to roll one die. Do not get a one. Oh my god. Oh. I did not. I got a nine. Okay. So, you <laughs> pull back, you swing. You, you managed to kind of get on the chin. Good for you, kiddo. Uh. <laughs> And finally, it's the two head. I clap too, but yeah. then it shatters. <laughs> so it's kind of like clank, clank, yeah, clank, 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 clank. Tink, 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 tink. <laughs> so now it's the uh, the briar rolls turn. You have one grappled, and it's going to try to get out of that. Yeah. Uh, so what is your strength and brawl? Um, together, that is a seven. Okay, so this will be a contested roll. Okay. Get my dice pool together. Dos. <laughs> Three. Yeah, no, it is wiggling and barking and trying to get out. It's not happening. And what is your defense? Uh, that is four. So, it gets two dice for this. As its buddy tries to attack you. Yeah, that makes sense. Steven, did dogs wrong you somehow? Yes. <laughs> Steven does not like dogs. It is known. I'm kidding. They scare me. <laughs> <laughs> 
it. Alright, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. But yet you have a tinfoil Pomeranian. They're the scariest ones. Have you never had a Pomeranian? Oh, and tinfoil ones at that. I mean... Alright, take one lethal as it bites into your leg. (laughs) Alright, so it's the top of the order. Fairyzilla is still incensed, meaning it is not really... To my knowledge, the incense tilt means it's a little confused. Insensate. Insensate? That's how it's pronounced. Yeah, and that's that's not a little confused. That's like, I can't move, think, do anything. Mm. Mm. That guess I shouldn't have been able to attack on that's that. That's fine. I think it, yeah. the first hit I, would make sense. I'm like, rah, ow. <laughs> it's, probably, <laughs> it's probably in the process of hitting. Like, <laughs> like and as you did that, it's like, it's rain. So it's like, it, it's like if I tried to take you to Halloween Horror and I just, it would be like, boo, ow. <laughs> Yeah. Just, so as it has that like, tilt, it cannot take an action. It is going to try to break out of that, though. Wait, Steven, would that would that mean that it could not have contested? Because that's a mental contestation Time of Kaiser. like contract, right? Time Kaiser, thank you very much for the bets. Uh, you're right. So going forward, that would qualify. Okay. Cool. All right, yeah. yeah. It was a great set piece, though. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I just so, like you standing next to a monster screaming oh. at you. Like, it's funny. We used to have one of you. <laughs> uh, it kind of blinks and shakes its head, and it's coming out of it, but it does not manage to get all the successes it needs. So it is still pretty useless. Michael, your turn. I'm going to ask you a question. I might give you an answer. Uh, how big is the, uh, the Briar Hound? Uh, the, is it smaller than me? It is definitely a, it's a, several sizes smaller than you. Great. Um, so Billy's jaw is going to totally descend, <laughs> and I'm going to swallow it whole. <laughs> Spending okay. a point of glamour to do that. Um, so I actually have to make a successful stamina plus survival roll, which uh, is five dice. Oh, son of a gun. I only got one. One is all you needed. Okay, great. Then yes. So. <laughs> Billy is useful. Um, so Please. my digestive system deals two points of lethal damage per turn. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, pretty much just like. I like that that's. Uh, like a snake. That that's written into the game. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, on that note. And then I turn my head to the one that's biting me on the leg. So you're next. Are you less hungry now? No. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an aching void of hunger. Oh, and yeah. so is my character. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> Who wants Denny's after this? <laughs> so, uh, Tracy. Yes. I am going after the um, fairy. And I think I'm going to try using Fire Tongue. Uh, fiery Tongue, which is the changeling's angry <coughs> words can break bones and rend flesh. Ooh. She rebukes her target, swearing by the summer itself that he is incompetent and a fool. Okay. Um, it does cost me, though, uh, one willpower All right. and one glamour. Okay. Um, is this a contested role? Where do I see that? That would be on your uh, little cheat sheet I made you. I don't see that it is. It doesn't say. Then it's not. probably not, yeah. Okay. It's an action. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So it's make- an action. Uh, all make right. So uh, let's see. So I have to verbally assert my dominance over the target. She can invoke her higher court standing, her superior, superior crocheting skills. Or her first edition Harper Lee novels, which this the fairy does not have. I don't believe you have those either. I don't. Not personally. I do have a Battle Angel Alita collection, though. That's pretty That's great. sick as hell. Yeah. My, my manga. Um, whatever she bases her claim. I mean, okay, so if I do that, this means I remember my human form? Um, you are probably calling upon some human accomplishment, or it could be something you accomplished in Arcadia. Fairy Godzilla, you're nothing. I will step on you. I am so much smarter than you. I can navigate anywhere in the world. I have seen everything, done everything. I've even served on a shark, and you haven't. (laughs) So 
I do want that story. Later. Tay, yes. So. And you, and and your blonde bob is completely fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Make the roll. Make the roll. Uh, it should be more. Though. Isn't it more than that? Um. So it's my the dice pool is my presence plus indiv- intimidation plus mantle minus resolve. Mm. Minus the resolve of your target. Just kidding. What's the resolve of my target? <laughs> it has a resolve of two. Yeah, so that was right. Oh. Yeah, so three. Okay. I have one success. All right, so what happens on success? Well, let's say, the power of the changeling's uh, rebuke inflicts her rolled successes as points of bashing damage or lethal against fey beings, which I don't... Is this a fey This being? is a fey being. Nice. Well, I have lethal. Nice. Uh, Hell it yeah. also removes two doors in social maneuvering, but worsens the target's impression of the character to hostile immediately. Yes, we will talk about that when you're actually in social situations. Because oh. right now you're just dealing with uh, evil dogs and a giant fairyzilla and uh, eventually a huntsman, possibly. Cool, cool. I'd oh. fight the fantastic beasts than be in social situations. <laughs> yes. September so with my character. Um, okay, so there's literally nothing I can do to aid in combat, but I do have a point in larceny. <laughs> same, same. Larceny. No. Can I? Uh... No. No. <laughs> no. No. Can I steal no. from the no. pixie? You can steal one of her legs. <laughs> no. Auntie <laughs> scheme. <laughs> No, 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 no. I had one campaign where I let that happen no, and I will never let it down. You let, you let Deanna uh, roll like larceny as damage. I don't want to do any damage. I just want to steal from her. What are you going to steal? What does she have on her? She doesn't seem to have a whole lot. She has kind of this, uh, You'd call it a tube dress, but it looks more just like a thing of burlap wrapped around her middle. Right. And uh, two pixie wings. And a fucked up haircut, according yeah, to you. really fucked up haircut. I want to steal one of her wings, but I feel like I'd have to climb to do that. I'm right? picturing like a combination of Pete's dragon and like a My Little Pony, but uh, got in a Cronenberg teleporter. That is then. literally what I'm going for. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, there's... I, I Okay, never mind. That would have been amazing. Um, yeah, you can still give it a shot. There's always a chance of something cool happening. And if not, we will all laugh at you and it will be very yeah, amusing. If not, I'll die. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's see here. Um, you know what? No, I'm just going to continue trying to intimidate her. Actually. Okay. Uh, since she has that <coughs> tilt on her, you, I will let you make that attempt again. Okay. Uh, with no... With no glamour cost? No glamour cost. Oh, great. Amazing. That was... Ten dice, I think? I believe so. Yeah, I just... Heinous number of dice. Sorry. I'm too short for this. Um, <laughs> I'm, like, very short, actually. Oh, that's so much better. All right. One, two, three, four. And that one's a zero. Nice. So let's clear that out of here. Four successes. Four successes. Okay. Um, as you, how are you intimidating her? Um, I am continuing to talk about this, but now I'm also talking about, you know, I, I never really got the chance because I wasn't really allowed to, but I bet once Billy brings you down, I'll be able to pull you apart. I've been trying to figure out how to describe the biology of creatures like you accurately. You're such an interesting specimen. Why don't you just die already? <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like complete, like rambling, like. You've gone full scary anime character. Yeah, like. Nah. So smiling. I'm going, I'm going to say with your four successes, and because I feel like I owe you for the first time, she now has the cowed condition. So is she no longer like aggressive towards us? She's like. Uh, she's kind of backing up a little bit from you and you because you hurt her feelings, now you hurt her feelings. Oh. She's kind of like backing up back into the forest. And I punched her real good. And you you, <sighs> you tried so hard. You know, and the but things, you got it in the chin. The things the Snow Leopard friend here were saying later. about your hair, true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you have officially mean girl the monster. Oh, well, I'm, I'm just like walking towards her. I'm trying to like like push her as far back into the, the forest. It is working so far. Great, okay, great. Uh, it was useful. Yes. Okay, uh, so she's 
effectively sort of out of it for us? Um, she's trying to leave. Okay. From what you can tell. Okay. Um, so, are there any, like, and I can only do, like, if I was going to do a contract, <coughs> I can only basically do one a turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So In combat, like, you take an action, too. Yeah. So this would be a slight, uh, one-two punch that would require two turns. Uh, well, how about you tell me what we want to do, and we'll see what we can do. Well, I want to. I wanted to because uh, I thought we might need it. If there were like maybe, is there uh, like a like a pool of water per, or still like even if it's somewhat murky somewhere nearby? Uh, there is not. Okay. Well, then that then I can't do that. Uh, so I'm just gonna try and kick the dog that's biting him. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Uh, strength and brawl. Ooh. Nice. Ten. Two successes. <laughs> so, the dog that is still biting at you, not the one in your digestive tract, is, uh, you just swoop on down and booped. I imagine for because... For two bashing. Yeah. Because cause my, my foot is probably just a jagged piece, I'd probably just stab into it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Alright, so, the dog, it is now the uh, wolf's turn. The dog in your system, mm -hmm. it's dead. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> you get a little bit of hair when you do that, you mm -hmm. just gotta pick it out. Sure, and briar wolf. <laughs> it's just, just a little, like, briar, it's like a, a leaf falls out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, briar wolf. <clears throat> and the other dog is going to attack you. Okay. What is your defense? Uh, it's still four. Oh, Still made of glass. Hey, defensive four is not bad. And you take one lethal as it bites at you. Oh. How dare you? I know, like, ooh. This dog is not fun. Nope. Uh, top of the order is Fairyzilla, and she is going to try to run away from this horrible, horrible fight from the horrible, horrible people. <laughs> These terrible people who keep insulting her. I know. Her ego is bruised. You guys. This isn't fun anymore. She started it. She's got to be at least minorly terrified her entrails are about to be <laughs> X-trails. <laughs> she saw someone eat a dog. Like, this is too much. Uh, eat it, per se. I just swallowed it whole. All right. With the earth it's shaking. It's a razor-thin line that it's there. You vored it. Yeah. <laughs> With the earth shaking and trees Ford falling it. behind her. shirt <laughs> <sighs> Yes. There you go. Steven, sorry. With the earth shaking and trees falling behind her, she makes a break for it deeper into the forest of the hedge and away from combat, and she is out of your hair for the time being. You don't know. She'll, she might come back. They did unlock it. <clears throat> but that is her turn. Michael. Hey, um, well, that dog bit me. <laughs> I really can't allow it to continue being. And it just bit him. Not in your stomach. Yeah, but it bit me. <laughs> and I can't continue to allow it to be. Alrighty. Uh, but I'm not going to swallow it whole. I'm just going to kind of try and pummel it into submission. Okay. So brawl and strength. Strength and brawl. Okay. Yep. Uh, any difficulty? Uh, we are going to include its defense, and that will be, uh, four. Okay. So, okay. Awesome. Me. Uh -huh. <laughs> One. One success. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Dom, we need the stick to get the thing out of the hole. No oh, crud. <laughs> oh, no, you had to make a thing. Every campaign, every campaign, there's something where Kate yells at me about dogs and someone loses a die down a hole. I'm sorry. Okay. You fell in a hole? Okay, great. Stop fingering the Let's table. carry on. Uh, <laughs> oh, crap. Maybe, yes, so maybe keep him on the table. One success, yes. I think that's okay, um, you punch this thing, it lets out a little yip, and uh, that's your turn, Tracy. Um, how many, how many, uh, wolves are there? There's only one. Just one. All right, well, I'm gonna just run as fast as I can, claws out, and just shred it as much as I can. Go for it. All right, uh, which was power? Uh, strength and brawl. Strength and brawl. I'll remember that, I promise. 
at some point. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, strength Brawl is kind of like your default melee thing, but you will do aggravated, da- you do lethal damage because of your claws. Right, and uh, I'm make sure I get this right. Summer Mantle, I gain bonus dice equal to the character's mantle dots to mundane attack rolls when actively defending her freehold against a fate. Well, it's a fate threat. Well, mm-hmm. is that? I will allow. I will allow you to do the three. <clears throat> okay. So that's nine. Because mm-hmm. you are defending someone. Yes. So I've got one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Three successes. But I also rolled a six, six, six just now. Nice. Nice. Metal. Metal. He saw it. I saw. <laughs> And you get on this thing and you just you slice and you dice and Julianne just fucking slap chop. You slap chop it. (laughs) And with that we are out of combat because it either ran away or it's dead. It did. Or giving you terrible indigestion. Dude, you're gonna be so gassy. Let's not talk about it. Doesn't bear to think about. Now let's get the hell out of here. Um, Steven. Can we talk about hollows for half a second? Uh, yes. So hollows are a place in the hedge. Correct. Right? And we, I believe, the one that we established has easy access. That means it's accessible through, uh, it has no permanent entrance. Instead, the characters can access it by spending a single glamour. Um, This usually takes the form of a particular uh, whistle or knock, but it works on any unlocked door in the mundane world, blah, 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 blah. Um, when we're not accessing it through that, that way, where is our, how would we access it? Um, that's a good question because you can only access your hollow through set places or through your secret knock or however you summon it. Otherwise it's just kind of question mark. It's just a pocket dimension. Yes. Um, how far are we from like wherever... Uh, I would have set the original location to this. You don't know. <clears throat> well, you've been in the hollow before, and you've been in the hollow. You haven't yet. Um, I'm feeling a little low on glamour right now. Um, would one of you care to <laughs> make the door happen so that we can maybe go somewhere safe for five minutes? Again? So we don't die? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. We just picked up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just. We're gonna not remember that. I'm just. It, he did it wrong already. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was the old Nick theme. Uh, it is. Nick, 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 Nick. Oh, hey. Okay. It was not intentional, but I will also own that. So, yes. All right. Okay, where are you. Where are you opening this door? Um. I'm going to take a moment to survey our surroundings. Uh, that path that was opening up in front of them, has it closed back up again? It has. Um, you've, As the four of you stand, as four of you look around, you realize your pathway from Arcadia and to wherever you were going is gone. You are now just standing in what looks like a incredibly thick and nonsensical forest. Ah, shit. No, no, no. I've got this. I've got this. Got this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we just, uh, are we it within the hedge? You are within the hedge. So I've got hedge sense, and I can find my way around the hedge, and I can gain plus two die bonus to all rolls to navigate hedge, find icons, food, shelter, or goblin fruit. Yes. What's it called? Goblin fruit is uh, the natural food that grows in the hedge. It is, it's fruit, yes. It doesn't look like any sort of fruit. It kind of looks like weird anime bullshit fruit, but it has weird side effects. For example, you eat one and you don't have to sleep for three weeks. I like that. Oh, okay, so (laughs) it's Adderall. (laughs) Comes with this giant white pill. All right. (laughs) So as you, uh, did you spend the glamour to open the door? Yes. Okay. I did Uh, not mark it off, but yes. Where are you knocking exactly? There. 
like a tree or something. Yeah, no, no. Like no he makes a very big show of like trying to carefully select where it is, and then ultimately he's like. Um, as you knock on this tree, you, the branches sort of part, and this is the first time you've seen this. Mm -hmm. There is a doorway to what looks like a pretty spacious and rather swanky little apartment. That was decorated by someone who did not open their eyes at any point. Correct. I'll I bet it was that fairyzilla with the yeah. awful haircut. Oh no, this is mine. Yeah. Oh. Well, ours, technically. Oh. Do you want to come in? You can stay out here. Doesn't matter to me at all. Fuck you then. All right. Billy, she helped. I didn't have to help you. By Don't... the way, your leg looks like shit. Mm. If it worse. He sometimes eats people who get in fights with him. Can we go inside and have this fight? If he's going to eat you or you're going to eat him, either way. I'm not going to eat her yet. <laughs> Can we just, you know, not out here. Sure. So I'm like, I'm like ushering people and like, come in, come in, come in. There's snacks. Maybe. It's been a bit. There might not be snacks. It might be mold. Um, there's books and there's a shitload of books in yes. here. As you enter, you find... <clears throat> As this is your first time inside. It is a three-story tall house, for lack of a better term, mm-hmm. but sort of like a house and a library and a slumlord's building. Kind of got together, had a bit of fun, and this is what happened. I Baby. In that apartment. Wait, how did y'all three, just for my knowledge, how have y'all been in the hedge? Well, you were all escaping Arcadia at the same time, so this is... Well, I mean the hollow, or whatever... Because I haven't my first time being anywhere. Oh, are you are you asking this in character? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not in character. Just oh. for for me, Tracy. I think the the established lore is that you created it and built it over time and stole things and put it inside there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, this is something that I've been building oh, okay. for a while, and like it's accessible from from other places. Um, it just like lives. Gotcha. In and the we've hedge. Been trying to figure out a way to get past the hedge, but since we can't, this is kind of our hidey hole until we figure that out. Gotcha. Okay. And then also you're there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like <laughs> currently very worried about Musef too, who got bit and hit and is yeah. made of glass. Okay. Uh, cool. I've got shatter marks. Uh, I I go to where I will always go. There's a there's a mantle where clearly something was hanging, and I sit on top of the mantle. <laughs> I'm si- I'm not in my I'm just like in my like weird like stained glass form, but I'm sitting on the mantle because that's that's where that's I belong, what, that's right? What you do? Uh, I take off my leather jacket. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's leather. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what it's made of. It's still leather. It's still leather. Um, People is leather too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's um, so supple. Um, <laughs> buffalo milk. <laughs> what? <Yeah>. True <laughs> Gore Big Fargo. <laughs> well, she was an American girl. Um, <laughs> So I take that off, I plop down on the most magnificently magnificently appointed sofa I can find, and I just stretch out and start kind of worrying my leg a little bit and just kind of poking it, because it's gross and I'm a punk rocker, and that's what we do. I think I'm like, I'm like staring at this like a little bit too intently for like too long. What? The leg? Yeah. It's just cool looking. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What's your name? Uh-huh. You don't really need to know. Then I mean, you don't really need to be in my house. Hey, fuck off. Then you can fuck off. Okay, fine. Hey, 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 hey. You don't have to tell us your true name. True names have power. I wasn't asking about and that. And I have more power than you. What are you called? Fuck you. Okay, well, fuck you. I'm September. That's Musev. And this is Billy. Billy Ruin. Billy Ruin. Oh, Billy, that's precious. Billy. What are you, five? Cute. Stage name, if you so must funny. know. Oh, you're a little, you're a little artist. You're, you're a little, oh, my name's Billy and I, I'm I sad for the no door. reason. She was moderately helpful, but the attitude is grating. I don't know, I kind of like her. Keep <laughs> Make yourself at home. Like she said, there's food or not. I don't care. 
I'm gonna take a nap. I definitely, like, Ugh. I'm, like, looking over into the kitchen. It's definitely not well stocked oh, at no. all. <laughs> no. <laughs> the kitchen is a combination of extra space for books and a few foods. Yeah, like, you've if, you, if you open a cabinet, books fall out. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, the the refrigerator, refrigerator, whatever yeah. passes for that is just like full of weird specimens and stuff. Like, it, nice. It is. There's definitely some like nightmare fuel in here too. Like horrifying things that I have, I have just acquired, and I'm acting like there's it's nothing wrong deal. with this place. Yeah. It's, it, if there's something you want, we can. I, I can. We can get it. He's good at that. It. He. He was a mirror until very recently. How are you doing, by the way? I'm remembering pain. I didn't... It's been a while. It's instructive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It, it taught me I don't want to be hit by things. Or bitten. I was bitten, too. I don't think I've been bitten before. I was wondering what that sound was. Yeah. I don't recommend it if you can avoid it. Oh, no. I, I don't want it. I'm glad I know that. Look, you don't want to be here. We don't necessarily want you here. But I also don't want to see anybody else die today, if possible. And that's rare for me. So why don't you just hang out here for a little bit, figuring out our next steps. If you want in, we're trying to get out. Okay. Sounds good. All right. (sighs) What is your next step? Well, I... You know that your hollow can lead you back into Arcadia, which will put you right back where you started, or back into the hedge. You have not, none of you have figured out how to get from here to the real world. Are there places in the hedge where people with that sort of information would congregate? All over. You just have to find them. Are there ones that, that might be better known than others? Well, I'll roll for it. Yeah, go ahead and roll for it. All right, let's see here. So, um, so I get three from Mantle. I have Hedge Sense. Does that do something to oh, you? have Hedge Sense, yeah. too, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a lot of overlapping um, contracts here, which is okay. Well, Hedge Sense. It's, it's a mirror. A mirror. Mer- 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 that's an event. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, while we have this little bit of downtime, uh, the chat's curious if you guys could reiterate your seeming, your seemings and kits. Oh, sure. Yeah. Why don't we start with Eric? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I am a fairest mirror skin. Uh, I am a beast bright one. I am a darkling antiquarian. And I am an ogre gristle grinder. <laughs> now, uh, for a free beat, uh, would anyone like to explain what exactly a kith is? Or should I just take that? Uh, I'll, I'll take it, sure. <laughs> <laughs> So, if the seeming is your character class, uh, or race, uh, your kith is more of a specialization in one of those um, capacities. So, as a gristle grinder, I am basically a sentient garbage disposal that is bent on destruction. Um, As an antiquarian, September Sharp here is the keeper of lost secrets and forbidden knowledge. Um, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Every kith comes with a knack, something they're just inherently good at. For example, uh, I believe you get... I'm really good at stealth, guys. I can can disguise myself really well. (laughs) Yes. Mm -hmm. So that means when he rolls his stealth ability on three successes, I treat it as if he rolled five. They also have a blessing, like how... uh, Billy Riot over here can eat a wolf. Whole. <laughs> Billy Ruin. <laughs> Billy Ruin. Why'd I call you Riot? Billy... Is that your is that your enemy in high yeah, school? Yeah, Billy Riot was in another band. <laughs> Fuck that. I've guy. been watching a lot of My Hero Academia. I apologize. That's all right. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's a good punk name though. It is right. Yeah. So, that's kind of what a seeming and a kith are. So, mm-hmm. what is your next move? Uh, well, I wanted to roll for this. What am I? What am I rolling besides mantle? And I think. I think it's a dot for Hedge Sense, is that what it is? A dice for... I believe so, yes. Yeah, We'll so... count it as that, I'll double check before next game. Okay. Next game. Uh, go ahead and roll me Intelligence and Occult. 
Oh boy, I'm gonna need more dice. Here, have some of mine, but not that one. Wait, nice. I've got, I've got, I've got extras here. Okay. I learned from my last character who was just a dice disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's thirteen. Jesus, that I'm, is awesome. I am useless in combat. If you need to know something, but you're really smart. All right, all right, all right. Honestly, all right. if you guys need anything, I can get it. <laughs> I got one success, no, two successes out of that. that yes. Was, that's amazing. Yeah, cool. I saw it. It's true. It's, it's I'm just, yeah. Yes, goblin fruit. All right. I'm curious. Yeah, so two successes. With two successes, you know the best place to, there are, de, you know there are denizens within the hedge. Right. Uh, not just hedge beasts, but sometimes goblins. Okay. Those goblins, easy enough to find. They're loud and smelly, and they have a lot of information. But the best place to gather information, or literally anything, and you would know this just because of what you are, is the goblin market. Oh. I like the sound of that. Um, so, while you guys have, are all, like, like sprawled out, uh, perching on a mantle, are you just kind of, like... Lurking by no, the I'm just, I'm just chilling with the pancake. <clears throat> um, pancake. Pancake. Had one eye on the prize, one eye on the refrigerator, tongue out. It's just. I'm, I'm like in, I'm in like a pile of books. Actually, like, like I've had things stacked up and like, like I have some stuff on shelves, and so I've been like pulling stuff out of shelves and kind of just like tossing them like, my back. No, nah, that's not the one. No. Uh, no, that's not the one. Uh, oh, hey, this one. And, like, flipping through. I'm, like, find the page about the thing that I'm looking for, and I, like, turn it around. We need to go here. And it's, like, oh, Goblin Market. Goblins. If you disagree with you, you can eat one. Mm, you said know. they were tasty last time. Uh, yeah, last time they were tasty, but maybe this time they won't be. Maybe I don't want to eat everything. That's who I was. It's not who I am, man. You complain a lot. I'm like... Your face complains a lot. Looking at uh, <laughs> uh. Well, I think we should probably go here anyway, because um, if anybody's going to know how to get us out of this mess we're in, if it's going to be goblins... September, I'm going to go where you're going to go. Just say when, okay? I, I think the when should really just be when everybody who's hurt is no longer... Well... <laughs> You, but I don't know how to glue him back together. I don't know if, if super glue works on people mirrors. I guess there's only one way to find I it out. I have medicine. Would that help? You can roll intelligence medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, however, you will be at a disadvantage because you don't have stuff. Me, I don't have mirror knowledge. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't, you don't have some crazy glue on, at hand. Do you I can get have... crazy glue. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kenny. Can you try that? I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, get some crazy glue. Yes. Get some yes. mirror the craggle. Glue. All right. So I, 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 there's, I mean, there's other mirrors here. Uh, so I find one, uh, and this is gonna be uh, basically two contracts. Do you guys like talk to each other? Or? Uh, I mean, I, I acknowledge it. Hey. Uh, oh my God, Michael, you going? can't ask how they talk to each other. Thank you. I'm sorry. Not all mirrors know each other. Sorry. So I, I'm, I, they all look the same to me. I'm, Oof. I'm, I'm sorry about this. Uh, and then I'm gonna, drawn. I'm gonna use a, a glimpse of distant mirror, and uh, now instead of a reflection of us, it's uh, it's actually just kind of like a, a sort of like mom and pops like hardware store, and it's specifically uh, the glue aisle. And then I can use um, the other contract, uh, stealing a solid reflection, and we're gonna try that out. Nice. Uh, glamour plus <laughs> one willpower, and go. Okay. And then I, you just see my hand like transition through and reach out and grab and then pull it out. Uh, the label's backwards, uh, but is this what you needed? Blah, 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 blah. Nice touch. Nice. That's I, exactly. Oh. I didn't know he could do that when I stole him. Oh. <laughs> that's, um, that was a, that's, that's really amazing. useful. Okay. So oh, as you now it. have some crazy glue, and I will allow that as really janky medical supplies, you can roll intelligence medicine. Okay. Hey, Superglue is actually pretty good medical supply. It for was humans. originally made for that, so. You know, we used to two. use that after shows when I. Well, I'll tell you later. Please do. Five. So five successes. <laughs> five successes? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Um, 
you kind of just, you, you get the crazy glue and you go to it and you are completely healed. Smart. Nice. Huh. Yeah, that, that just you all, feel better? Yeah, everything, okay. all of my pieces are together. Cool. I'm like, in, I'm like inspecting your hand that went through the mirror. Like, mm. can you do this like, like all the time or? I think so. I mean, in, until I'm tired. It, it takes a little out of me. I can imagine. Yeah. Why are you interesting. just staring at him? Because he's interesting. Him. That's cool, but he's obviously really tired and we shouldn't keep pressing. You know what I'm saying? Respect him, man. Shut the fuck up! I'm angry! She's an angry person. She's an angry person. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't do angry true. very well. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> I have earned my wrath. I don't know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not good at being an angry it's person. Good. No, it's good. Okay, sorry. good. <laughs> well, thank you. Okay. Thanks for gluing my bits together. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Look, September, I think it's best if we lay low for a couple minutes or whatever. Yeah. Those huntsmen could still be out there. There might be more briar hounds. There might be... Whatever that was. Yeah. Why is there a huntsman after us anyway? Well. Because we escaped. Someone noticed we were missing. Did, did you see that? For a did you see the hun though. huntsman? Did he look like he was. Like, did he have like an insignia or something? Did he? No, I didn't see the huntsman, did I? None of you saw him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. You heard him though. Damn it. Did we hear him? Ah! before we encountered Libra? Uh, really, it kind of showed up. You started hearing his song when you met up with Libra. Okay. So he's after you. Shit. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I mean, I suppose it was bound to happen at some point. I mean... I've been safe for a while and don't love this, but. Well, I think you're right. A few minutes of of quiet, I think, is probably for the best. Oh, hold on. Um, and I exit the living room or wherever we are. <laughs> I bypass the, uh, the kitchen into this little cupboard. Mm -hmm. I open it up and I kind of kick furiously a few times and you hear this weird guttural and these like three little dudes, these weird little misshapen humanoid figures like lurch Aww. out. And we're yelling at each other and I'm pointing them out the door. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you. <laughs> you. Fuck you. Get out there. You get out there. Look, do you want to live here or do you want to die? Set my dog says a dick. And he goes outside. All right. No, no, no. Oh. They're, they're, they're our lookouts. Okay. If anything weird comes this way, they'll let us know, okay? And within five seconds of it being outside, you they close the front door behind them. And the door opens again. Hey, boss, there's something out here. Uh, see, I told you. Okay. I'll... Outside, you see a man who is impossibly thin with bony arms and this giant mustache. It looks like the mustache has consumed most of his face. And he has a large cartoonish gun and a... God. Uh, what do you call those hats that uh, colonialists would wear? The like that one? Yeah, like those. Oh, pith helmet. Oh a pith my helmet. god! <laughs> He's wearing a pith helmet. Is it Dom Zook? <laughs> no, oh it, it's Lord Domwell Zookington III. Thank you, sir. I oh remember the name. my. Uh, I'll have you know Domwell Zookington III had a beard. Yeah. Fair enough. We have his portrait right there. Um, <laughs> what a yes. specimen. Yes, hello, good sir. We gave it the office. Shut. <laughs> What's out there? We should probably get going pretty soon. Right. And you hear a gun cocking. All of you hear a gun cocking. Yeah, this like is now, not good. maybe. Uh, so the can because we don't have a fixed entrance on the hollow. Mm -hmm. Can we do the thing like Howl's Moving Castle? This bitch, like, oh. flip the flip the thing at the door and open it up somewhere else. Um, 
How about this? I will allow you to do that, but it will require a weird, it will cost you a glamour, and I will require a weird and survival roll. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, I am have... pretty good with survival. Okay, yeah, I have no survival. Does okay. anybody else have it? I have it. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm if like, you, if you're I have one survival. To make two. this roll, then. How many would... do you have, Tracy? I've got uh, four survival. You should. Oh, Tracy's right. really yeah. good at surviving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Libra, you notice that there is kind of this, uh, it's a wheel yeah. on the front door. Okay. And it's, uh, it's covered in symbols, thumbs up, thumbs down, middle, fi middle finger, finger, Gemini. <laughs> um, where do you want this wheel to be pointed at? Do, is there one that goes to the goblin market? You have no idea. Uh, Russian roulette it, spin the wheel. Let's, yeah, let's do this. And I just spin the wheel. We're all gonna die someday. Hey, maybe today. I hope so. Yeah. Two successes. All right. You... I've only been sentient for a little while. <laughs> I'd hope to stay alive longer. It hasn't changed. <laughs> um, you just fucking spin the wheel mm -hmm. and you see the, there are windows mm -hmm. here, right? The window's outside, it goes day, night, day, night, and right. for a second it looks like you're in the Antarctic, and in a second it looks like you're in the middle of a busy city, and then you are in a beautiful little pastoral area. Oh, it's like Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> um, <laughs> cause I'm just really sweet with the pop cult. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, did they come back inside? Oh no! They knew what they signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Um, they're hobgoblins. They're they're diamond. Dime dime dime. <laughs> it's a living. Um, I've, I've got their addresses. We can send them a postcard. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's a good attitude. Uh, I want to stick my head outside. You stick your head outside. You are definitely still in the hedge, okay. but you are in a much more quiet part of the hedge. Do I, with hedge sense, have any idea where we are? Um, go ahead and roll me hedge sense, um, intelligence, and survival. Okay. With a difficulty of three, so. Okay. Um, survival, so that's already minus one. So this is just a chance die. All right. Nope, nothing. So hedge sense is really useful for navigating around, but if you don't have an anchor point, sorry, uh, this is about something uh, belonging to fairy as well. Technically, I should have rolled three more dice. Um, okay. Is that? I'll allow you to roll those three. Okay. It didn't matter. <laughs> Nothing in there. Uh -huh. You got to roll them. Yeah, I did get to roll them. We feel better. Yeah. So, like I was saying, the thing about Head sense. It's it's super useful to find things and r get into trouble and get out of trouble. But if you don't have a place to anchor yourself, you're kind of wandering through a house of leaves. You do not know where this place begins or ends. Is there a guy with a gun out there? No. They were no fine. Gun. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should head out. Yep. As you head out, you notice this large open field. There's something resembling a cow with like another smaller cow kind of twitching out of its back. Um, I love it. There, and there is a path, and on that path you see a little old woman in a large cart. Should we go talk to her? What do we know about little old women in fairy? The infamous King Cupcake. Uh, yeah. I love your name and thank you for King the reset. Cupcake. Infamous? Infamous? He's infamous. the one we've Or it's about. like Three Amigos where they're infamous. Infamous, right, thank you. In infamous? Infamous? Mm. All I know is now I really want a cupcake. Uh, so. Ditto. You see, you uh, look at this woman and I will allow you to make an occult intelligence roll with all your autumn booties. Booty yes. Mm. yes. This is like, oh, this is why I'm here, is just to, I don't know. That's awesome, you know, it's like- You're here for like, exposition. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, cult intelligence. I just gotta write down that that's my, like, my 10 roll. Okay, so, one, two, four successes, two of them are zeros. 
Okay, so four successes. Okay. You're aware that you should never fuck with anything in the head that you don't immediately recognize. Mm. But you also are aware that this being is, she's a goblin. Cool. Which is slightly above the things uh, you keep in the pantry that uh, really have it out for Billy. Like they <laughs> hate Billy. They probably don't like me all that much either because I. Yeah, I'm... but you don't kick him as much as I do because I kick him a lot. <laughs> I tried to feed one a book once. He said something about f fruit, maybe cookies. Yeah. I didn't have any. I had a book. Oh well. But we should talk to her. Okay. And I walk over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, little. She is about three and a half feet tall, pointed ears, large nose, uh, and just this almost an afro of white. Mm. And she looks up at you with these milky white eyes. Oh, hello, dearie. Hi. Uh, uh, we, we, I think we're trying to find a goblin market. Oh, a goblin market. Well, I'm just on my way there. I'm stopping at my sister's. Would you like to come along, dearie? Would we like to come along? Sure. Mm -hmm. Find the direction we need to I go. Mean, if she, if anything happens, we'll just, you know, you can just eat her. Like I, um, <laughs> I know the hedge is different than. They whisper a lot. Through. I'm sorry. Uh, what? It's we'll, we'll come with you. Oh, good. We'll come with you. Apparently, we have nothing to lose. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> what's what's in her cart? Uh, it is covered with the tarp. You're not entirely sure. And when I say tarp, I do mean like an Ikea blue oh, good. tarp. Tarp. I, I can see somebody in the ferry, like, picking that out of our reality, being like, oh, what wondrous object is this? <laughs> well, that's the entire hedge in a nutshell. It's just a clusterfuck of column A, column B, and no one wants anything so in it. It's like the Los Angeles riverbed. Ooh, <laughs> factual. <laughs> Yikes. Calls so them like it sees them. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm game. Like, uh, I'm purposely going to sit shotgun, if such things are possible, or as close to her as okay. I can. Uh, I'm gonna... You know she's pulling the cart herself, but oh, when okay. you sit down, it does not slow her at all. Oh. Um, okay, so then before I actually hop on the cart, I'm going to just kind of pause and look at her and say, uh, I'm real hungry. Got anything to eat? Oh, as soon as we get to my sister's... Uh... She had, you know, you, you thought she was just kind of milky eyed, but she's actually wearing these very strange glasses and she adjusts them. Uh, and that's when you realize the glasses are her eyes. Oh. She adjusts them a little bit. Uh, yes, S Sunny, well, there's food at my sister's house. <sighs> Do we? How trustworthy does she seem? Yeah, I feel like we're putting an awful lot of faith in this random goblin woman. Well, how about one of you guys give me uh, empathy and uh, I'll do that. wits or, uh, yeah, empathy wits. I'm out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> out. Uh, one success. Okay. Uh, Musa, you have, how long have you not been a mirror? I would say, I mean, weeks. Weeks. So, um, how often have you interacted with people who aren't these two? Um, not, not a whole heck of a lot. I think maybe I started, before she stole me, I started to figure out I wasn't just a mirror, but I think it's mostly been these two. Well, if you were a mirror on display, you were probably also watching people. Yeah, I, I watched a lot and I didn't realize I was watching people, but actual, like, face-to-face -face interactions, besides these two and her who I met... 15 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, you put her on par with this one in trustworthiness. Okay. Though this one has been a little, has yeah. been helpful, so. Mm -hmm. She, she fixed me. She fixed mm -hmm. my bits. Yes. I fixed the bits. Yes, I did. That's all you can ask, really. Yeah. Well, the day. I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm like, I am purposely falling to the back of the cart, though, as this, like, procession kind of continues on, because I want to look under that tarp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. quite curious myself. Okay, so both of you are going to try to look in there, huh? Yeah. Um, how stealthy are you? <laughs> hmm. Oops. Not very stealthy. Yeah, give me a dexterity uh, stealth roll. Can I, I use... I dex. 
Can I use uh, larceny? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, for the first time oh. since I've ran any of these games on stream, yes, you may. Yes, I have a dot of that. <laughs> I did have one success. One success, for okay. Dex. So what is this, De Dex? Uh, and larceny. And lar Dex larceny, or is there something else in there? Dex too? larceny, that's it. Dex, Dex okay. larceny, that's my Star Wars character. Dex larceny. <laughs> <laughs> Dex Larson, bounty hunter. Yeah. Uh, well, if we ever bring back right. Never Tell Me the Odds, I'm playing that. Yeah. No, if that's the case, I'm playing Toots one Rando. Success. <laughs> Toots Rando. What, so both of you got one success. Mm -hmm. uh, you head towards the back. You kind of let, let this little woman lead the way. And you look under there, and you see a bounty of food. <sighs> that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping I'm, for a I'm body. I'm honest. I was kind I'm of just, expecting a body. That's, that's <laughs> really not for us to take. Somebody else could probably need that. I was just hoping for a body. I'll get one for you. It's okay. Yeah. I oh. actually get like a little like misty eyed and I'm just like, you're so nice. I'm all about collecting the bodies. <laughs> Me too. I would like to engage this woman in, uh, <laughs> in some small talk, uh, just because I don't talk to a lot of people. Yes. Ah, thankfully. Yes, uh, go ahead and roll me socialize, and uh, let's make this present. Socialize, presents. Now, uh, I have, uh, one of my things is I got to add, add a, like a, a skill to one, one of these. Or yes, what your skill specialty. Specialty, small talk, yeah. It does apply here. Okay, and then what does that give me? That gets you one extra die. Okay, so that takes, instead of six, I'm at seven dice, because my speciality is in uh, small talk. God, thank God uh, for mm -hmm. That's This one's cocked. Uh, Ooh, yeah, we'll take those. So that's four. Uh, five. You get to roll that again. Uh, five successes. I'm really good at small talk. <laughs> so, so tell me about your sister. <laughs> oh, dearie. She... Uh, where are you in relationship to Chris? She's still pulling the cart. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna plop down next to her and start talking to her. Mm. Uh, she turns her glasses so she's looking at you, and you notice there's just nothing yeah. there. Whoa. Uh, That's cool. Oh! My so sister is a very like nice flesh. woman. Uh, I'm Greta of the Woods. Do you think I could do that? Yes. And she mm -hmm. is Greta of the plains. Oh. Yes, our mother wasn't very creative. Though I don't know if we actually technically have a mother, but that's beside the point. I might not have one either. <laughs> I understand that, though... Mm, no, no, you definitely do, child. Okay. I'll take your word for that. Oh, you should. I'm very wise and okay. very old. You seem like it. Yes, thank you. As you got five successes, um... So there's this mechanic in Chronicles Darkness called doors. People put up doors when they don't want to share information with you. But as you, on your first interaction with her, were very pleasant, and then you got this, there are no, there is only like one door between whatever she has and what you want. Okay. So you can ask her and she'll be as honest as the day is long. And her name is Greta of the Plains? Or her sister? She's Greta of the Woods. Yes. Greta of the Woods, her sister is Greta of the Plains. Of, of the Plains? Mm-hmm. So That's is, incredible. So, do you have an occupation? Oh, no, dearie. I'm retired. Oh, what did you used to do? I don't know. I think I sold children. Oh. No, wait. I sold things to children. I think I sold male chimps. <laughs> hmm. I can't remember. I know male chimps. What about female chimps? I don't know. I, I just know the male ones. I remember that very specifically, that male chimps. Oh, male chimps? I don't know. No, it's definitely chimps. Oh, <laughs> fascinating. Yeah. I don't know. I remember saying it a lot. <laughs> well, uh, what about your friends, uh, the quiet ladies and the uh, handsome man? Oh, um, uh, she likes books. Uh, She's rotating the eyes when you're pointing. Yeah. Uh, she, she's a cat, uh, and he eats people. <laughs> only, only people that bite him sometimes. Oh, just like my old husband. Hmm. <laughs> As you go on your way, you eventually f come across this lovely little cottage. 
There is smoke coming out of the chimney, and the building looks like it was made out of old bricks, uh, cardboard, and abandoned action figures. Oh, adorable. That's very cute. <laughs> now you four go on, say hi to my sister. I'm going to go drop off the food for her. All right. <laughs> Thank um, you. Thank you, Greta. You're welcome. I mean, how long do you think your stop here is going to be? Oh, a day, maybe less, probably less. Time doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, fair enough. Who does it really mean anything to anyway? True, we are all floating in an infinite void of sadness and chaos. Wow. You're so right. Yes, I usually I am. That. Is it okay if I use that in one of my books? What's a book? Right, well, thank you for taking us to your sister's house. I now have nothing to say to this woman. <laughs> she jumped to me. She's just like walking up to a library. Yeah, I don't really read. <laughs> Why do we even have libraries anymore? We should just like have Amazon buy them. It's like, it's like uh, I like switched from like, like. Bless you. Bless you. Like in a video game, the like. The NPC skip, just switched skip. from like, yeah. no, from like friendly to like enemy engaged. <laughs> <laughs> September will remember that. Yeah. yeah. Um, How's uh, it going, adventurer? Criminal scum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody just stole a cabbage in a town like for <laughs> And I'm a guard. Yes, Skyrim. Um, Renegade option. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, no, it, it's not. It's not quite that bad. But yeah, I now have like. My, my, like, a seam for this woman has, has dropped to, like, oh, you exist? I forgot. Mm. Um. <laughs> well, the front door of this hovel, house, whatever you want to call it, cottage. We'll call it a cottage because it's pretty. Hot. Yeah. The cottage, the front door is wide open. And <clears throat> Greta of the Plains is seemingly going to the back where there is a small storage shed. Oh, is she of the Plains or of the Woods? Uh, you... The Good. one with the cards is the plains. Yes. The oh, I, the woods. I have them. Oh, backwards. so did I. Yeah. Okay. I could have gotten them wrong. That's fine. So the one pulling the cart was of the plains. Yes. Okay. And Possibly. is that I don't plains? Know. Like, the rain in Spain falls mainly on them? Or is that plains? Like, like the table yeah. is a plane. Like, P -L P -L -A -I I'll let you make that decision. <sighs> She's definitely of the plains. Yes. All right. As in, like, extra planer. There you go. So I, I walk up to the open doorway and I go... <laughs> just one short. <laughs> we really need to talk to him about that. It's okay. Um, there is no first. response. Let me go oh. in. Yusuf, you stay here, okay? Okay. Yusuf, sorry. I was thinking Cat Stevens for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, so Billy kind of hunkers down slowly peers in the door. Um, inside, the house does not break any laws of physics. It is not bigger on the inside. Okay. Um, it is quite homey, if yeah. not ramshackle. It is seemingly kind of held together by twine and hot glue and spit. And so am I. <laughs> yeah. You're held Vanna, together. Vanna, thank you for the glue. raid. Yay! Yay. Watch for Pugmire in October. Yeah. Yeah. Or Iron Keep tomorrow. Or Iron Keep tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Do that first, because that's how time works. <laughs> uh, you do find a dining room, though, with a beautiful spread. Um, actually, before I go fully in, stay here. Okay. Okay. And then go in and find the dining room. Yes. It is a beautiful spread of all sorts of food. Hey! Greta! Of the... Woods. Woods? Woods. Mm. Woods. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Because uh, when you call Greta, out from out. the kitchen, mm -hmm. it's the same little old lady, but she has different glasses on. Is this, is this the, the, the hat guy in Avatar? <laughs> a little bit. Yes! <laughs> Uh... Yes, hello? Uh, I think we came here with your sister? Oh, yeah. I walk in and I say, Hi, I'm Yusef. Your sister told me about you. Nice to meet you. Whatever she told you, it's a lie. 
Can I come in? Yeah, I think it's okay. <laughs> All right. I already did. Do you come? Oh yeah, I'm coming in. <laughs> so as soon as you come in, I'm like. Uh... Aren't you the same person? What are you talking about? No, this You're is. You're the same exact person. This we is great out of the woods. No, do your do your eyes do the. Let me grab my sister. And she reaches into her apron, pulls out another pair of glasses that are looking all over the place, changes them. Oh, hi, Greta. Hello. We, we just met your sister. Oh, yes. She's uh, quite a spitfire in her old age. Oh. Interesting. If, if I put your glasses on, would you be me? Uh, what are you talking about, dear? I don't wear glasses. Okay. Of course. Uh, Can I try something? I was really. Are you curious. asking Steven or are you asking Greta? Greta. Okay. Uh, what is that, dearie? And I just kind of reach for the glasses. Does she. Uh, back the out eyes? Or? The eyes get really, really big. That's, that's rude. That's rude. I know that. They I get a little that. bloodshot. That's one thing I know is that that's real rude. Okay. And they return to normal when you pull away. Okay. I apologize for, for my friends. They, 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 they haven't spent a lot of time uh, with other people, uh, so they get, uh, they get confused. Uh, you know, uh, they've they kind of been <laughs> stuck in their, their little house for so long. Just let them go. It's, yeah. <laughs> He's so charming. I just walk up to September and I say, so I think that's just a vessel. And maybe the glasses, it's so fascinating, are like the spirit? Probably. I've never seen one quite like this before, but it wouldn't be surprising. Everything here looks so wonderful, Greta. Yeah. Thank Why? you. Can you thank your sister next time you see her? Oh, certainly. Next time I see her, definitely. Okay. When, how often do you see your sister? Oh, when was the last time you saw your sister? Oh, five minutes ago when we arrived. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I found her in the kitchen. She's a real spitfire. Yes, she is. <laughs> yeah, she is. She... Puts uh, the other Greta on. I'm not a spitfire, okay? I don't have to put up with this in my old age. Listen, she invited you into my house. I'm not going to be a bastard and kick you out of my house when my sister invited you. You're her guest. <laughs> well, the day of her wedding. <laughs> <laughs> wedding. <laughs> That's funny. In her old age. I didn't nothing say that in say. character. <laughs> yeah. Nothing going on down there. Nothing going on anywhere with that one. So, help yourself. We got some Kugel. Oh. What do we know about food and fairy? Why don't you roll for it? I'd like to roll too. You may as well. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and you get a bonus, Michael, okay. because you are a gristle grinder. Okay. What, a, what would we roll? Yeah, what this is going to be intelligence occult. Okay. Four. Uh, what's my bonus? Uh, two. Two more die? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh my god, five, six. Three successes. I'll wait until September is done. Again. Six. Okay. I've seen a. a I, I was probably near a dining area at one point, so I've seen some. I've seen a lot of food. Three oh, successes. Okay. okay. So, Musab and uh, Billy, you both know you don't eat food offered to you. Yeah. Mm. Especially from strangers. That's how. The gentry work. I gave you food. Oh, uh, Keanu. Am I saying that right? Uh, Kian or Kinaes. Kinaes too. Kinaes. Thank you for the. Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the A came before the N. Leave me alone. I'm tired. No, it's it's fine. Dyslexia is real. Yes. Uh, both of you are aware that you do not eat food given to you because that's how the gentry work. I gave you a meal, therefore you owe me your firstborn child. Right. That's a kind of a normal thing. It's only five years of your life. Exactly. Hey, September, uh, uh, maybe maybe we're not hungry right now. We don't want to take all this nice old lady's food. Uh, September, every fucking red flag you've ever had in your life is going off. <laughs> yeah. This is, yes, she is a hobgoblin. So she is slightly above a hedge beast, yes. But she's still a fey creature. The rules probably still apply. And you saw how Greta acted when this mysterious cat woman approached her eyes. I'm going to use Baleful Sense. Baleful Sense? What is that? So Baleful Sense is uh, the changeling sniffs her target and senses the intoxicating scent of his deep anger and frustration. 
She needs it until she feeds it until it lashes out discriminately. Oh. Mm, she got a little bloodshot. You know, we really do need to get going. I'll allow the roll. Okay. This is what we're thinking uh, about. It's about making bad it's, decisions. It, yeah. No. <laughs> it's contested. I, I am what saying is, this knowing that we right, are not right. going to get oh, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am saying this because all my red flags just went up. Yeah, no, you should have known when I told you that something terrible is about to happen. To, because someone's going to do something stupid. That's half the fun. Okay. So, first, I have to coax her until... Oh, dearie, I, I would appreciate it if you didn't touch... Do you touch the glasses? Yeah, and then I just smack them off. Like a cat? Yeah. <laughs> okay, make the roll. Let's see, one, two successes. She got two. She puts the other pair on. I smack them off again. <laughs> Are you going to try to do that again? Yeah. All right. I'm busy looking at the food. I'm Don't you have to spend, uh, does this cost glamour to do? Oh, um, it does cost a glamour, so I have to... You spent one and... Do another one. Technically, I'm not supposed to allow it, but I'll allow it because, you know, there's two of them, so... So I, I spent... You'll uh, spend two glamour for that. Oh, okay. I've seen that one before. Um, That's new. Okay. That's an apple. Apple. I've got two. She got two as well. Wow. Okay. Oh, do you want to spend your reroll? How? Just do I only get to reroll like one die? You get to reroll the whole hand. Yeah, you reroll the two. Do it. <laughs> one, two. <sighs> Fuck him up. <sighs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I only got two. She reaches into her apron and pulls out a third pair of glasses. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> I believe it's time for you to leave. Smack them off again. They grab your hand. And I bite it. So go ahead and roll me a uh, strength brawl. <laughs> It looks like a pomegranate, but it's not the right color. Well, the difficulty, <laughs> there's a difficulty of five on this one. Oh, oh. fuck. <laughs> I'm turning invisible. Oh, yeah, buddy. Billy, Billy's got an escape. Oh, oh yeah, right. two successes. Yeah, actually, I think what I'm, I'm not turning invisible. I think I'm shuffling over, like, closer and closer and closer and closer. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of... Gingerly grabbing Musub's arm because you know what? mirror what? glass. What? Just come, come towards okay. the door. Okay. Come towards okay. the door. Okay. Okay. It'll um, be here. It'll be here. The whole house shrieks well. when you bite into them. Oh, it's the house that's alive. Um, huh. all of you look at the food, and the spread has turned immediately into a maggot-ridden, corpse-filled. There's your bodies. Oh, this is so much better. Mud and dirt buffet. That's why the pomegranate was so wrong color. <laughs> mm. You are ruining my dinner, and I am very hungry. Well, you ruined my life, and I <laughs> fucking hate you! Why did you You're have to die on me? You're not my real mom, you never will be. What the I fuck, Tracy? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Why, is, why would Libra say that? You know, she earned her rage. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, she's pissed at the world. Okay, so you're channeling some deep-seated mommy issues at Greta Cubed. As yeah. We call her. Greta Cubed. Yes. So as you are yelling, uh, she is going to take a swipe at you. What is your defense? Four. It's a gelatinous cube. <laughs> Go! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo. That's, that's, that's still clever, though. Thank you. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. okay, that is. You take two lethal. Ah, crap. Oh, well. As their fingers turn into shards of glass and they slice you. Yeah! You're fucking done! <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay. 
What are you going to do? Let's say. What are. Uh, I like Angry Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and roll initiative real quick for this one. Right. Was not planning it, but let's have it. Toy, toy, toy. Oh. Much I'm going to have to nice. write this down. Um, initiative is. 1d10 plus your initiative modifier. Plus modifier. One. 12. 11. Seven. Okay. Uh, and what is your speed? Uh, it's four. Sorry, no. Speed's 12. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's what Fleet of Foot does. Ooh, actually. Uh, you my got 11? Beast Blessing. It was 11. 11 yes. 12. Um, so 11, 12, 13, 14. Because I get the uh, plus three to initiative rolls. Great. Okay, then. Um... So, Libra, mm -hmm. you're at the top. All right. And you got so, four burned. Huh? What'd you get again? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. So, you're still at the top, but you are much sooner than I thought. <laughs> Which I'm actually not happy about. Fair enough. Well, she, she is pissed. So, I'm going to try to deal um, lethal damage with my unarmed attack. Okay. <laughs> Um, as you have lethal main, it is actually aggravated damage. Oh, right, right. Okay. That's better. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Ag. <coughs> damage. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to keep reminding me of this. My lethal main. Uh, that means you have claws, so your strength and brawl attack does, uh, aggravated damage. Strength and brawl. Yes. Uh, she has a defense of four, so. Okay. I'm sorry, defense of three. So remove three from the pool. Okay. For your roll. Two successes. Okay, so you do. You slice into uh, Greta Cube's throat. Throat. No, I just grab it and I just pull out. Uh, a black ichor with the consistency of glue comes spraying Great. out. Awesome. It is. It smells like rotten cabbage. You stink too! <gasps> All right, so Timber, it is your turn. Can I... Is there a mechanic for holding your action or holding your turn? Yes. Okay. I'm... And even if there isn't, I'm the storyteller and I say there is now. Ha. Ha ha ha! Hey, I'm literally not... Please don't give that. <laughs> now that you've said not to. Yeah, I mean, that's like basically an invitation to. True. Do it. Give it. Um, no, I, Steven just let me get away with this thing. Um, I'm not doing anything until Billy says the word, basically. Like, I'm... I don't like this. I mean, I like the decoration change, but I don't like this. I don't blame you. So I'm, I'm holding my turn until... So would you like to go after Billy? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to move you in the initiative order permanently after Billy. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. So you just kind of go, yeah, I'm just going to hide behind the uh, ogre. You know what I do is... Uh, if for a reason for this, maybe I like rolled higher, but I'm like so distracted by the like the actual scene on the table. I pull a pen out of somewhere and begin writing down a description of, <laughs> of the spread there. I'm like, this will come in handy. Respect. So that's that's what's happening. I'm waiting for for your turn. Okay, is that okay? Um, the gloaming of funeral feast was presented <laughs> upon an ornate table. Yes. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let me see. I feel like the best thing for me to do is try and stop all of this violence if I can by uh, the only means I can think, which is when people cry, they tend to uh, <laughs> tend to like stop and think. So I'm going to uh, use expression, which is two, to cry, and then I have a speciality in fake crying. And so you get an extra die. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. So manipulation plus uh, that's your. Okay. That's your expression. Uh, 
Yeah, expression is my speciality is fake cry. Okay, so manipulation, expression, Aww. plus one for fake crying. Yeah, I'm so that's. I say Eric Reichert is a national goddamn treasure. <laughs> he really is. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, two successes. You guys, why do we have to, you, we have to be fighting if we're just, Tracy? We're just here yes. for, I need a resolve compo composure roll. Uh oh. You're just why? here for, uh, for like, you know, just to, to have a nice meal and we're gonna go to the goblin market. Do I <laughs> roll, roll both? Yes, roll me your resolve plus your composure. Okay. You need to get two or better. I got a one. Like, the soulful I don't even, tears I don't even know touches right. what's left of your humanity, and you feel awful. Oh God. What have you done? You made this poor, mirrored man cry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was just trying to protect you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. Do you want me to stop? Do you want please, me to stop? Please stop. 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 I'm so sorry. Stop. I'm in Please awful stop. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Greta, however, got uh, how many success? Success? Two. Yeah, she got two. So she's still in it. Mm. But Tracy is not. <laughs> Billy. All right. So uh, seeing Greta cubed freaking out and the house shrieking and all this Grant Morrison stuff. Um, <laughs> Billy is like, yeah, this is my kind of party. You know, this reminds me of the night I escaped from my keeper. Yeah, I was dead to rights. They had me, they had the briar hounds after me, and I hid. I hid all night long until eventually the sun come, came up. Could have been five minutes, could have been a million years, but I escaped, and you know what? I'm getting out of here too. And he, the, the needle teeth extend again, and he takes a huge bite out Ow. of his palm. Love it. He goes towards the front door and grabs the doorknob, like washing blood all over it in the process on the way down, slams it shut, and it's a solid wall. To Greta, you three, however, can still see the door. Okay. And then, actually, in a moment, the solid wall opens again. September, this is your cue! Oh! Shuts again. <laughs> so, that was metal as fuck. One does one's humble best. <laughs> yes. I'm like writing this down as well. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let me see if there's any reason for me to do anything interesting. Um, okay, in this system, are movement and action the same thing, or? I'm gonna say you get a movement and an action. Also, Stephen, if you wish, you can contest that illusion. It's up to you. I will on her turn. Okay. All right. Um, I'd like to try and intimidate her. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, you know, you know what? Um, my antiquarian blessing, that counts as a whole action, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just... I'm just gonna try and, and intimidate. Okay, you are at a negative three for this, though. So intimidation. One, what would that be, just in straight intimidation, or? Well, it would be, uh, it's always gonna be an attribute and a skill. Right. So this would be your pre, so how are you going to intimidate her? I think, I think I'm. I think I'm Talk talking. Spooky. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm talking. Then that's going to be your manipulation and your intimidation. Okay. Um. You see, there's anything. Yeah. Okay. So I gain, I gain bonus dice because of my mantle for mm -hmm. that. Okay. So that would be four. Right. Um. So should I roll first, and then we'll see what what happens? Or uh, do you want me to? to play it out first and we'll Roll just see Roll first and then we'll play it out. Okay. And don't forget, uh, that is with your negative three from, uh, okay, That is good. with my negative three, yeah. Okay, cool. Because, well, after this one attacked her, she's just right, like, one. nope, fuck y'all. So I got one. One success, okay. Okay. So. So I think, you know, your house really is quite lovely. And we really do want to leave before it gets messed up. Say that uh, four to one odds is not great in your favor, 
or your house's favor, or your dinner's favor. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say she gains the condition uh, threatened. Okay. Sound fair? Sounds fair. And so I think once, once that's over, I go, we'll be leaving now, and I want to walk through the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you do, you notice uh, where Libra knocked the glasses over. They're kind of, something's growing around them. Oh, gross. Mm. How badly do I want them? On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna say a 12. <laughs> Fuck, okay, yeah. This is some straight up Clive Barker Hellraiser bullshit. Hell it is yeah. pulsating flesh just around these abandoned glasses that are looking, the eyes are not even matching anymore. They're just all over the place. And you're realizing on her turn, she is creating more Greta's. Okay. Greta cubed hyper Greta. <laughs> right. I want to oh steal God. a Greta so bad, but I also don't. I didn't like mm. that one. Mm. So I want to snatch one up. Can I on my way out the door? Uh, or is that an action to pick it up? I will make it a contested roll. Uh, however, she, when you try to pick it up, it is going to try to attack you. So. That's what you do. Okay. What's She's your defense? An idiot. Uh, three. Okay. I guess glass is stronger than paper. Yeah. Um, so what am I rolling? Uh, you're rolling nothing. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rock, take one bashing yeah, as it slaps glass. your hand as you try to grab it, but Ow. you do manage to grab it. Okay, so that's, uh, bashing. And now there are at least, there's Greta Cubed, fully formed, missing a throat. Mm -hmm. And uh, the new Greta, mm. the improved Greta. The one that I just picked up? No, there's an, no, there were three glasses. Got it. So I have one in my hands. Yes, and it is pulsating and squiggling and uh, making uncomfortable noises. The other one, though, has started to build something. It's about a foot tall now, but it's mostly just kind of like a skeleton with some flesh thrown on top. So like the first Hellraiser. Exactly. Yeah. This, Step is on it! this is Frank. Cool. Top of the order, Libra. All right. Um. See, and I'm thinking from beyond. If anybody's seen from. Ooh, beyond. good call. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to um, attacking. Uh, Granite cubed. Dumbass over here. Yeah. All right. Uh, as they took aggravated damage and everything. Yeah. You don't have to worry about their defense, so. All right. Strength uh, and brawl. I should write that down. <laughs> All right. ASMR cookie. I've got two. Over there. I'm hungry. <laughs> two successes. Two successes. Never that be sorry is for cookies. Two Never. ag and. I refuse to be sorry. Yes. Gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> you have. Turned this Greta into. I don't want to say ground beef, <laughs> but it's ground beef. Ground goblin. Ground goblin, yes. Yes. However, the glasses are still staring up at you, and they are pissed. And I step on them. And. All right, give me a weird and strength roll. Um. Uh... One success. Okay, they have a durability of one, and with that, you crunch them. Die! 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 <laughs> right, Reaper. <laughs> Very Reaper. Okay, uh, Musa. Okay, uh, so what is, and so she just took out the, the, the Greta that we were fighting, but there's at least one more. Oh, you got me die One that's like a foot. There's a ones that's like growing a like yeah. There's becoming... one that's trying to grow but having a problem because it's uh yeah. There's she has it's in your hand. hands. She has one and then there's another pair of glasses. There's another Greta. Bro. Okay, okay. I want to persuade her that we uh, this was not our fault uh, <laughs> uh, and that uh, that we were and I want to uh, use my specialty of shifting blame. Uh, to, to really, like, just okay. hammer the point. You are at a negative five for this roll. Negative five, okay. 
Tell her it's uh, Greta of the Woods' fault. Yeah, that's. I was thinking <laughs> that. It's like I. I'm so sorry. We didn't want to do this, but uh, we needed to get the Goblin on the market, and Greta of the Woods was very insistent that we had to that we had to do all of this and ruin your nice dinner. And I didn't. I didn't mean to. Uh, one success. That it will not be enough. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, reroll. <laughs> Uh, you can spend a willpower to add three dice to the pool. I'll do that. Nice. <laughs> well, that landed in there. It's an interesting way to roll. Uh, that's, that was two successes. Still not enough, okay. because, wow. uh... You kind of eviscerated her sister, yeah. I tried and then stop. crushed her. Oh. It's, I mean, and her other sister is currently being held hostage by this goth. And probably will be dissected. I don't look like I'm a goth. I'm probably saying this. I look like paper. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm yelling this without realizing it. I'm telling Greta of the Woods that it, it was Greta of the Woods this entire time. She's the one who asked us to do this. All right. Uh, Billy. Anyways, bye. Through the door. <laughs> uh, so as Misa pops up, we're September. I, oh, I came through the door. Okay. I snatched the glasses and, and came through the door. One, two. <sighs> She's still in there, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, me? She yeah. really, oh, yeah, she really tore that thing apart. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so I pop back in, and you see the wall kind of open for a second and then close, and then all of a sudden the shadow that was once Billy Ruin grows to about three times its size and has, like, And just... grew a heart that day? Yes. Oh. Um, if that though. <laughs> it's a horrible, like, pulsing, like, yeah, anatomical exactly. heart. It's a pulsating Greta. Exactly. It's a heart made of teeth. Yeah. Mm. Ew. That's the name of my EP. Ew. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm using Paralyzing Presence. Okay. And basically, I'm going to become a massive shadow and swirling teeth, actually, much like Eric said. Um, you do catch a little bit of this, but it's mostly for Greta's whatever set of glasses are looking at me's uh, benefit. So this is contested. Okay. And it's presence plus intimidation plus word for me <laughs> against uh, composure versus word for you. All right. So give me one sec to... <sighs> Sorry. 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 How dare you? <laughs> okay. I'm good. <laughs> uh, quick question. Who needs a reroll the most? Probably me. This is from the infamous King Cupcake. Oh, thanks, King Cupcake. Infamous. Infamous. You're not just famous. You're infamous. Thanks, uh, Cupcake. Yeah. How many did you get? Two. She got three. Fuck. Okay. Well, that's all right. I had to try. Yes. On her turn, uh, you notice that her body has. She hits the three and a half feet that you first saw it, and it keeps growing. Oh mm -hmm. shit. It's getting much bigger. And I need both of you to roll me a wits composure roll. Okay. What do you think's going on back in there? I don't actually, know, babe, you seen these cool glasses? <laughs> actually, uh, Musa, you can roll wits composure as well. You are distracted by the fact that the glasses are, you know, kind of going crazy again. Are they like wiggling and something? I'm like, oh, yes. stop. They are wiggling. I just want to understand how you work. One. One. Two successes. Two. One. Okay, you just need one. The door is gone. Like, actually gone. Huh? The front door of the house has actually vanished. It's mm. no, not an illusion. It is gone. Oh. I'm just still looking at the glasses. I don't notice this at all. That's why I didn't have your roll. Yep. <laughs> He's really good at that. What? Uh, you know how he made the door look like it wasn't there? I turn and look at the door. Oh, well, that's because the door is actually not there. Yeah. No, that's not, that's not Billy. He's... We're stuck. No, well, you're outside. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, we're inside. We're stuck. They're stuck. Well, you're stuck too, technically, I guess. Mm. No, we're stuck. Well. <laughs> Wait, okay. <laughs> stuck in the sense that you can't rush to our aid, so. So, top the order, Libra. Okay. Jesus. Um, I turn to uh, the growing one and I say, pissed off, huh? You're fucking next. And I, I go towards Dad. her and, Dad, and it's your fault that you died. You were murdered. <laughs> it's your fault. 
Okay. Tracy's just working out something with this character, and I, I, I support us, her. I you support told us her. this game is therapy. The game, it's, the, it's I trauma mean, my and therapy. Are actually really trauma. Good the therapy, both alive. Oh, sure, they sure. don't do drugs. Um, I just think it's much more fun to not be myself because I am uh, neutral good in real life. Here, here. Hate being good. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Lady Mago, thank you. Are you also neutral good in real life? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. One, one, two successes, actually. Okay, two successes. Uh, what were you trying to do exactly? Do my unarmed attack. Okay. Um. Yeah, right. you start slicing at this thing, and as you do, you realize your claws go through it. What the fuck? I say that actually. Oh, what yeah. the fuck? September. Whatever's going on there sounds loud. I'm going to. I'm going to use uh, walls have ears. Walls have ears. Okay. What is that so one? So I am going to lean up against the the house where it used to be, and so where the walls, door used to be. Er, yeah, where the door used to be. Um, Walls have ears. What it is is it's uh, is it's a merit, I think. Yeah, I believe it's, it's a contract. Oh, it's it's a contract where um, the changeling engages an object in conversation to learn its secrets, previous owners, and weaknesses. Um, and that's uh, how we met. <laughs> it's true. Um, and Makes what sense. you what you do is you tell it a secret from your time in Arcadia, uh, and then the object tells you a secret in return. Okay. Um, and so there's like there's a bunch of, of different stuff that uh, that it can do, um, but uh, I believe it's one glamour for one answer. Yeah, one glamour for one answer. Um, I want to know. I want to know about the owner of the house. All right. Um, well. So I'm gonna spend a glamour. I'm gonna lean up against the door, um, and I'm going to I'm gonna tell it. Uh, once my keeper had me tell stories for five years straight. When my throat started bleeding, he made me write the stories using my own blood. They're somewhere in here. And I like rustle my pages a little bit. Uh, the voice, you hear a voice and it is like 12 old ladies all talking at the same time. We're all one. And we're all very alone. And we are all part of this little home we've built. So if something happens to one of you, do you get lonelier? That's gonna cost another oh, point of glamour. Point of glamour. Is she the only one that can hear it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Who are you talking to? And actually, I know I moved you down to Billy, but I figured you're out of combat, so yeah. I'm just put you back where you were originally. Okay, that's... The Onyx Path, thank you for 49 uh, bits. Thank, thank you. The Onyx Path, thank you. Um, yeah, okay, uh, I'm not... some real good game publishing you got going on there. Uh, Doing good, kid. Keep it up. Hi, I'm Poppy Sidon. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna, like, look down at the, the glasses in my hand, and I'm gonna go... I wonder what happens if I do this. I'm just smash them. <gasps> <laughs> I will, that will require a strength roll. Oh boy. You're just trying to... Yep. So that's strength. Just strength. Just strength, all right. Ooh. You got two dice. One! See? One success, yeah. Um, take a point of bashing as it kind of cuts you a little bit, but you have successfully destroyed just, these glasses. Did I see anything happen in the house? Anything? Um... It gets a little uglier. That's a good sign. Except we're on the inside. Yes. Oh. Okay. Wait, it's okay. No, it's cool. It's cool, okay. man. Uh, let's see. So three Gretas are dead. Yes. So far. And there are 12? Well. You have no idea how many there are. Oh, well. No, okay. You didn't say a number. I, Did you? You just said 12. You 12. said it sounded yeah. like there was like a dozen old ladies talking at once. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's where I got a dozen from. Is there, like, a, a window? There is. Okay. You can see inside clearly that uh, this Greta is getting bigger and bigger, and the house is kind of starting to look a little shitty. 
All right. Are there any like sort of like hand-sized rocks nearby me? Like, um, how about you give me an investigation a wits roll real quick? Investigation and my wits. Uh, that's gonna be uh, two. That's count. Two successes. Yeah, you managed to find a. It is hand size. Okay, cool. Chuck it through the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, give me a weaponry and a strength roll. It's, All right. It's kind of oh. ironic that you are breaking glass. Yeah. Uh, it's deep. Yeah, man. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna use a willpower. I had three to that. Cause... Okay, and don't forget to mark off the willpower. Yeah, I've been marking off. Uh, that's a failure. I can't. I go. I can't. I can't. Oh, you're giving your willpower. <laughs> Are you gonna give me that reroll? Yeah, thank you. No, no, you have to. You have to. Uh, no, I can't. 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I tried that. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Okay, so as this is a very clear failure roll, I will allow you to make it an exceptional failure so you can take a beat. Okay. Now, beats are what uh, the players gather in order to. Yes. Thank you. It's four beats sorry. create an experience point that they can spend on whatever they want. Okay. So, would you like to do that? Uh, absolutely. I would love to, to, like, just like, like, just like <laughs> curl into like a ball as I, like, contemplate, like, Destroying this this I can't tell what's not people. Anymore. Yeah, go yeah because Aww. it's a it's a dramatic failure and I get to have a little fun. I want you to go ahead and roll me three dice for clarity damage. Oh yeah. You want to fail this roll. Yeah. Uh I got one success in clarity. So take Mark a bashing damage on your clarity as you just kind of have this moment of what's a human? What's not a human? Was this rock a man? So I just, I just write, I just like mark one. Yeah, just clarity. make a slash. In. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, 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 is it, is that me? I don't, I, I don't, I don't. The I two can't. of you can see this and if you weren't about to die, I would probably be a little more concerned. I come over and I'm just sort of like patting you. I'm like, <laughs> It's okay. I'm getting ink all yeah. over you. Like I'm, I'm bleeding ink basically because from my, my hand. I'm just like it's all right. There's it's like just ink unsanitary. <laughs> all right, Billy. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> um, so I turn to you. For the record, let it be known that I'm really conflicted about this. Just technically, that's a little old lady, but. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to eat her. <laughs> Give Not me, swallow her all at once. But okay, I'm, I'm give me a in. strength and brawl roll. You got it. Uh, the difficulty on this is going to be four. Okay, so that's... This is not fighting dirty, right? I don't believe it is. All right, so it's just three. That's okay. You can't spend willpower. Uh, that is one success. You manage the grappler. Okay, great. That's really all I wanted. Yes. She is currently size four. Okay. So you can take the action to swallow her whole if you want to be kind of gross about it. Be gross. Yeah, what the hell? You've been hungry all day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so this is a stamina plus survival roll. Yes. Um, any modifiers? Uh, <laughs> any last words? Minus two. Okay, so again, just straight three. One success. Paint us a picture. All right. <laughs> so uh, as... Uh, <laughs> As the new Greta is kind of pulsating and being all weird and like Tetsuo style, <laughs> um, Billy is just, <sighs> and kind of in slow motion looks out the window, sees you having a nervous breakdown, <laughs> sees you bleeding ink, <laughs> turns to you and is like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> but, and then goes full Pennywise, just. Once you swallow her, the house gets deathly quiet. It then begins to rattle and shake. And I need both of you to make athletic uh, athletics and dexterity rolls for me. Okay. Um, we're, we're outside, but we're, You're fine. we're near the house. Okay, do we see the, the shaking happen? Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, how, how can I reroll? <laughs> Failed. Uh, well, you can burn a willpower to add three to that. 
pool, or you can spend a reroll. Uh, I don't have a reroll, so I'm burning willpower. And I get three more dice? Yes. Okay, great. Three more otherwise... dice on top of the four if we fail. If you spend a willpower. Son of a... Okay, one success. No, two successes. Okay, okay, great. The way it works is you spend willpower, and whatever your pool is, you add three to it. Okay. Two successes. Okay. So you guys managed to avoid the falling debris as this house is... Any glamour that was on it, that was holding it together, that was making it look almost like a house. I threw three to the ground and put myself on top of you. Sorry. And pancake. On. And pancake, of course. And pancake was there, sure, why not? <laughs> uh, the house does fall on top of you. As you were on top, you do not take any damage. You take three bashing. Okay, I accept that. Yeah. And... The two of you walk. The two of you watch as there's just kind of this pile of stuff. Billy. That's not good. <laughs> um. I'm Billy. You it hear a small yipping noise. It's pancake. Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Even you know the name, apparently. I know the name of the dog. I don't know your name. Oh, Libra. Well, you haven't told me that. Oh, that's true. I said fuck you. That's yeah. yeah, no, you were fuck really rude you. about it. <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of Fuck You and Pancake. Coming yeah. this fall on Fox. Fuck. fuck you, Pancake. I'm, I'm going to start. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Is start. the window okay? <laughs> no, it's not okay. It's, it's, no, you know you what? You also realize it wasn't a window. It yeah. was just kind of like, uh. <sighs> You know, saran wrap. It's it's not it's not okay. It's and we're we're maybe not gonna be hmm, super okay if help me dig. Okay. Where I'm gonna start trying to like get shit off of of there. I'm okay. I'm thinking where I hear the barking. All right. As you dig, uh, it doesn't take very long. The stuff is really just kind of cardboard and glamour. And now the glamour's it's just gone. Crap, it's just crap. It's just crap. crap. Okay. And it doesn't take long before you find uh, Billy. How are you looking, Billy? Uh, uh, You're looking. Oof. I, the old lady was a house. Yeah, I'm. I'm like. I'm like holding your face. Like, hey, 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 hey. Uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. So the window was you. people. <laughs> the wind. Oh. Yes, but sometimes you should kill them. People and windows. Okay. So as as you're smacking me, I do grab your hand and I'm like, September, I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. You you scared me. I know, but I'm Which, okay. I mean <laughs> you scared me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I think oh right. And then he kinda rolls over <laughs> and leaves us. You are me. Get the fuck off me! <laughs> Pancake! Yep. Super glue for your bits. <laughs> for your yeah, bits. yeah. Uh, <laughs> nah, I'll be okay. Okay. Um. You know, um. I turn to you very, like, very pleasantly. Uh huh. And um. I'm going to roll to intimidate you. Oh. Um, okay. You almost got my friends killed. I mean, it's cool if something happens to me because I'm very excited about what comes next. But we won't travel with you if you're going to get us killed. And I'm gonna roll to intimidate you. Okay. Okay, this is a clash of wills. Mm -hmm. So you're going to roll your uh, presence and intimidation. Okay. Uh, plus your mantle, because you get that boon. You will be rolling your resolve composure. Okay. 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 Oh boy, that's four successes. Six. Yeah, I'm probably like five. I got two successes. So I'm intimidated. It works. Okay. We want to help you. We want to all be safe. But we can't help you if you're going to put us all in danger. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the waterworks. I'm really sorry. They did really bad things to me in there. And I don't think my life was any better. 
I don't really know how to act That's anymore. A transfer niner. Sorry. I don't really know how to be around people anymore. I'm really sorry. How about you start by telling us what to call you? Because I was yelling fuck you in the <laughs> rubble. Um, my name is Libra. That's what they called me. Then that's what we'll call you. Okay, I won't do that again. You might um, have to. I, but Unless one of you are in danger. I think it's fair because we all have to do bad things here. As you said, they did bad things to us first. But maybe there's this thing in publishing called knowing your audience. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't give you a real that one on one. And I just kind of look like books. I I used to write them. It's a long story. I'm good at long stories, but this is maybe not the place. <laughs> anyway. Libra. What do you remember about your time before here? Mm, my mom OD'd. My father was murdered in prison. And I just left. Just traveled around the world by myself. Why do you want to go back? Because I want my freedom. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. Worthwhile goal. You know, we are closer to the goblin market, which takes us to said freedom. What say you, uh, we keep on going down this road and just see what falls out? I do love a good adventure. Musep, you okay? He's <laughs> covered in inky handprints. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he might need some Windex. Uh, he's Do you fine. know what that is? He's fine. I pull off a piece of paper and start like, <laughs> like mopping you You're off. He's gonna leave streaks. You hold so you give him the homeless guy car wash? Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm like, I'm oh sorry. The last few minutes have been very confusing. Yeah, I know. I'm like pulling off another I'm like, here that, that, there's your face, but it's better now. That doesn't hurt. No. Oh. It hurts if somebody else does it. There's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> Wait, before we go, I've got to do one thing. It's in character. <laughs> um, Billy turns his back to you and walks over to the ruins of Greta <laughs> and urinates on them. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to desecrate it. Only way to be sure. Bless this house. <laughs> well, it's more like, you fuck this house. Fuck this house. This house is clean. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> Decidedly not clean. It's clean. definitely not. Yeah, it's cleansed, perhaps. It's been cleansed. Yes. All right. Um, as you urinate on the corpse of this goblin house creature, whatever the hell Possibly it was, Possibly the most questionable thing I've done in any role playing game ever. <laughs> Go on. Pee on an old lady. I, I want to roll the pee on the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a reaction. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe they put those mechanics in the game, but I'll I'll accept it. Um. <laughs> Don't roll for that. I'm not rolling. I'm just getting my dice out. <laughs> roll to me. <laughs> I don't need to roll the pee. Um, you hear the sounds of wheel turning. Well, not wheel turning. You, it's kind of like a old car. Mm hmm. Is it the cart? Uh, no, it's not the cart. Oh. Um, as you look back to the road, you see a uh shitty card that looks like it's made out of Legos and duct tape. Does it look like it went with this house? No. Okay. <laughs> That's a relief. It's going to be like, is Greta's husband coming home? Oh, shoot. I'm Hi. back from the war. <laughs> I wasn't dead. <laughs> Greta, my love, I wasn't dead at all. Um, what's, what's driving the car? Uh, you see... Uh, it looks a lot like the hedge beast you guys use to protect your hollow. Oh, a little hobgoblin? It's a little hobgoblin. Oh. It, uh, if you've ever seen creatures, it kind of resembles that. It's like a furry... Critters. Critters, thank oh, you. Oh, critters. Yes, it's just kind of like a hairy sphere with a pair of angry eyes and has a... <laughs> R RPG Nova, thank you. RPG Nova? 
Can the fruit look like the critter's eggs then? Sorry, I'm like, Some of them does. I'm trying cool. to figure out. Yeah, there camera we go. There one, we are. Yeah. Camera two. Yeah. Camera one. I'm, I'm camera two. holding camera my thumb out. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it is driving it, and on the side of the cart, there is a really shitty, poorly spelled banner that's uh, selling goblin fruits. Do yeah. I have money? <laughs> I, I, I've got my thumb out. I'm, I'm trying to flag this thing down. Uh, give me a presence and uh, socialize roll. Uh, oh, I actually have a dot in that. <laughs> Why do I have a dot in that? I don't know. Book signings. Oh, I mean, that's true. At some point, I wasn't horrifying. Okay, how do I say say the name again? Because I don't want to say it wrong. It's cocked. Uh, Kineas. Kineas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kineas. One. Hey, Kineas. You can just say King. 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 Thank you. Thanks, King. Uh, the cart pulls over, and it still has the right. You don't know why it has reins instead of a wheel, but don't, don't just roll with it. It turns turns to you. Why, hello, little lady. What can I do for you? You selling goblin fruit? Oh uh, yes, I'm in the <coughs> goblin market to sell goblin fruit. I, I kind also of my offspring. I, I kind of just step in. Hi, sorry, uh, Musa. Uh, I was wondering. Uh, it was an awkward request, uh, but we seem to be stuck out uh, all the way out here. If we're wondering if uh, maybe we could hitch a ride. We were also heading that way to the goblin market, and uh, we kind of got uh, sidetracked here. Give me a persuasion and. Can I help him? Manipulation roll. Uh, how are you going to help him? I. So I actually have a dot in res no uh, yeah the dot in resources. Okay. So I pop up from behind you. I'm sort of like bouncing to like be seen over your I shoulder. I assume you, you are taller went. than this one. Yeah. But you, well, you were. I don't know your mirror. Si how big are you? I would say I'm like I'm like humanoid size because I'm like. The size of a... Okay, but we're both humanoid size, yeah, so and if you were to push me out of the way, I would be on, like, like blocks trying to see yeah. over you. Oh, yeah. Um, but I, there might be portions of me, because I'm sort of stained glass, that are, like, somewhat opaque. Okay, then I'm looking through one of your portions, because I think I think September is pretty pretty small. Yeah. You're looking um, through your portions. I do, like, <laughs> size 5, uh, which is a standard size for humans in Chronicles of Darkness, just means you are a normal size human. It does not mean you are not short or tall. Yeah. Uh, I, I think she's... I'm probably, she's... yeah, I'm probably not, like, I'm, I'm probably, it would be a shorter end on the human spectrum. So I'm probably looking through like your shoulder. Yeah. And I'm just like, I have things to pay with. Well, I do love things. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to aid. I'm also a hobgoblin and we are not very intelligent creatures. In fact, overall, we are what you would call imbeciles. <laughs> I love this goblin. This goblin does not sound stupid though. Well, he said imbecile fancy. There's self-awareness and there's intelligence. It's a fine line. Mm. Oh, I see. You are made out of paper, correct? Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes. I actually have something to sell to you. And by sell, I mean give to you because the chat has unlocked it. <gasps> you have unlocked the pen is indeed mighty. You get a permanent <clears throat> token weapon. Cool! What? Oh my god! It's called the Inkwell. It's a one glamour plus one willpower to activate, does two lethal. And it says use expression plus dex instead of weaponry. This is the coolest thing ever! I can hurt people with words! Yes, so what he does nice. is he spits out the reins, turns to you, and then does one of those cartoon vomit things where it's just like, bleh! And a pen pops Directly out. into my hand. Yes. And... I got two successes trying to ask for a ride. Uh, you actually get a bonus die because she is assisting okay. you, so go ahead and add that. Uh, still still two. I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at talking. Whoa! Thanks! That's awesome. Well, with two successes, I can't really argue with you. I am what they call dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> so, if you'd like to get in the back of my uh, automobile, you can come along with me to the Goblin Market. And you know, can I just say, it's 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 wonderful that you know your place in the world. It's uh, true. Weird. I am beneath most livestock. That's, that's because what livestock serve a purpose. I am literally a creature made out of uh, glamour and bad ideas. That's well. 
just think of it this way. For the brief time that you're giving us a ride, you have some purpose. True. Once also... that's over, you have no purpose again. Well, that's why I go to the goblin market to sell things, because I equate my usefulness with my purpose in life. That's... That's funny because I only equate your usefulness and how useful you are to me, and beyond that, I don't con I don't consider you at all. Well, shoot, <laughs> <laughs> so bad. I love this. Um, well, all right then. Well, you guys can hop on in the back. There's hop plenty of room. Are there are there a bunch of hobgoblin children in the back? Uh, yes, and they are in little boxes that say some of them say for free, some of them say uh for a pound of flesh, and others say, to a good home. I imagine they're all like, like, Ralph Wiggums. <laughs> uh, they're more just kind of like Furbies. Okay. <laughs> I, um... So we lost some off goblins, um, <laughs> to the Huntsman. Um, so, uh, when, whenever we get all of our various people in the back, um, I, I go, what's the difference between free and to a good home? To a good home, I have some emotional investment in their well-being. If they're free, I do not give a flying fuck if they die or not. I am not a good father, nor am I a good provider. I don't know, I feel like we should get some of those free ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah, uh... Let's get the free ones. Yeah, we also don't care if they live or die, so I feel like that that's conducive. <laughs> I mean, look, you know, contrary to how I behave, I don't really want anything to die, but if something's got to die, yeah. you know, something with no emotional investment, that's right. the way it goes. I think Emmanuel I Kant prefer... said that, right? Yeah, I would prefer the ones that we lead to slaughter be the ones that aren't loved. I I don't know, I kind of want one of the, the two good home ones. I need somebody to help me keep the library organized. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, he does One. need to have a purpose. Do you want to come and help me keep the library organized? I don't know why I'm looking at you. Do you want to come and help me? Because you, you're seeing her reflection in my face. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the hobgoblin. The one driving? Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. I am illiterate. Are any of your children literate? I do not know, nor do I care. Maybe he can help you organize the library. Well, it doesn't have to be in alphabetical order. It could be by color. Um, but it can also not be... Everywhere. Can we just go to the goblin yeah, market right, already? We're, well, we're in the back of the car. No, I know. No, he's in the back of the car, and the yeah. car is... Are we there yet? So, are we there yet? Are so we there yet? Uh, we'll, take, we'll take all the free ones to use as cannon fodder to defend our home, and then uh, I believe my assistant uh, would like to... Your assistant? My assistant here would like to, uh, to, to take one as maybe her assistant. <laughs> September will remember this. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm not, I'm not fully invoking the contract, but I do have uh, the royal court, which I can assert myself as a little leader of any meaning. <laughs> well, that sounds perfectly fine to me. I have no emotional investment in this whatsoever, uh, nor do I have the intelligence to really argue or haggle. Also, to answer your question, a uh, large one, we will be there in now. Oh. Holy. As you look out the cart, you are greeted with what looks like an immeasurable expanse of neon and old banners and circus tents and stalls. A lot of Hollywood video and blockbuster. There is a blockbuster there. <laughs> there is a blockbuster, and it needs a you need a membership card to even get inside. Wow. Like oh my rough. god, the blockbuster. I feel like it's you were alive in the nineties. I know, I know, but well, this... Billy on the other hand is like, what is a blockbuster video? Why is everybody trying to get in? Oh, it's good. It's real good. Okay. It's a place. It's a place where you would go to be indecisive for very long bouts of time. I'm like, I mean, you you enjoy carnage. Yeah. I've got some things to show you. If we can get past the security. Well, ma'am, that's a beautiful part of this place. See, I am good for exposition and very little else. <laughs> uh, you do not need uh, to go past any security while you are in here. This is a goblin market. It is a free-for-all. You obey the rules of the cart and very little else. And also, uh, the true fae do wander through here. This is equal footing for both of y'all. So... That is what I'm going to leave you with. Now, you may take as many of my offspring as you would like, 
Except for the ones that require a pound of flesh. I will require a pound of flesh. And please do not give me a bunch of orange peels. I had someone do that before, and it was very clever, actually. I was very impressed, because I am stupid. <laughs> there is... Is there any just, like, paper in the back of the... Um, you do find some newspaper that's being used to, like, uh, line the cages mm -hmm. for these hobgoblins. They don't go to the bathroom, as far as you can tell, so oh. they're just kind of there. I start taking paper and kind of, like, like with while he's, like, talking or whatever, I'm just, like, wrapping this stuff around, like, around my arms, and I'm like, I mean... Can I just, and I start unwrapping it, and I'm just like, what about if I just take, here, a pound of flesh? Well, ma'am, I get, can't argue with that. I really should learn to word things better. <laughs> you may take another one of my offspring, though, let's be honest, you have taken most of them. That's true. They're going to organize a library, and hopefully not die. I do not care either way. <laughs> so I take, yeah, uh, I... What what are they what are they, what distinguishes these hobgoblins? Are they just all uh, they are random? all kind of all of them resemble this uh, seller, for lack of a better term. They are mostly just kind of furry orbs. So they have like tribbles. Yeah, tribbles. I was thinking they're tribbles. They're tribbles. They are tribbles. they're tribbles that will eventually grow up to be an ugly tribble or are a critter. Are if there you were any really that are into VHS like, tapes in the '90s, like I was, like cool looking, or with like an extra eye or something. Not that you can tell, though. They there are a few polka dotted ones. I take one of the polka dotted ones. Fair enough. Um, you look so sad. I I was hoping oh, for a tentacle. Ew. Oh. Or like. Well. I get that. So, are any of you getting off this uh, cart? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As you enter the Goblin Market, both of you with your hedge sense, you get the feeling if you want to find something with a tentacle, you can find it. If you want to find a warhead, you could find it. Okay. If you want to find an abandoned dream or an unloved child or someone's first kiss, you can find it here. This place has everything and it will take you anywhere for the right price. Okay. That sounds amazing. And that is where we are going to wrap our first episode of The Garden of Good and Evil. Nice. <laughs> Next week, we will pick up Inside the Market, which will be very fun. <laughs> Hopefully we don't piss on any more old ladies. Eh, or maybe we do. I'm just dead. laden with, with hobgoblins and, and telling all of them, like, you're going to have so much fun, or probably not, but you're going to organize my library. <laughs> you don't care either way. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, thank you all for joining us tonight on our first outing, and, uh, Wit Witless Me! me. Hey. I love your name. I love your name. So, uh, thank you for joining us tonight in the Garden of Good and Evil for our very first outing into Change the Law's second edition. Uh, my name is Stephen Pope. If you find me charming in any way, shape, or form, one, why? Two, follow <laughs> no. me on Twitter at StephenJPope22, and make sure to check... Check me out on uh, one of Saving Throw Show's podcast, Uncanny Valley Cancer Cell, where I play instead of run. It's a good time. Michael? Uh, hi, I'm Michael Holmes. You can find me on Instagram at Michael R. Holmes. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next week. That's really all I got right now. No plugs? No, not this week. Okay. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Kate. You can find me everywhere that it matters as Commander Kate, one word, and Kate is C-A-I-T, except for Twitch, where I am Commander underscore Kate, because somebody stole my name. Son of a humbug. Um, yeah, I mostly do cosplay stuff and write and scream about birds on the internet, so come Hey, and Horizon Zero Dawn. And Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm having a meltdown about that game right now. I could talk about it for hours. Anyway, somebody else talk about it. I really need to play that. You do. Uh, hi, I'm Tracy King. T-R-A-Y-C-E-E. -E, King. On Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And I don't have anything to plug. Because if I did, then I wouldn't be able to tell you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Hi, I'm Eric. Uh, you can find me uh, on all the social media that matters at Mostly Shit. 
You really uh, need a new name, dude. No, it's great. It's great. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you can uh, find me here tomorrow uh, at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Iron Keep Chronicles every Wednesday. And uh, I also have my own Twitch channel, Mostly Eric, where I stream variety games. So you can catch me uh, most afternoons on there. Yay! Join him in the basement. It's fun. Mm. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's the gimmick. Uh, as Eric said, tomorrow, 8 o'clock, Iron Keep, our D&D campaign, longest running show, Saving Throw House, technically, sort of. Well, I mean, it started Sparky's Brigade, but it's our D&D show. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, we've been doing 5th edition D&D for a long time, but... Yes. Uh, and also, make sure to check out Friday Night, Wild Cards is back. It's, Ooh, our, what a, it's an amazing show. <laughs> uh, we'll be back next week, 8 o'clock, and until then, have a good night. Bye! Bye.